Good morning, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Welcome to today's coverage on both Wall Media and the Needham Channel. I'm Robbie Johnson along with Bill Dermody. Bill, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, to you as well, Robbie. Uh, Needham, 2-8 and eight coming into this year's Thanksgiving game. Why don't you give a little bit of a synopsis of this 2021 Needham season for us? All right, I will in one second, but first I'm going to make a comment on what you said about the 131st and all this high school rivalry because Jack Edwards was on TV the other night with Bruins and the Canadians, and he said, like, that's the best rivalry in sports. I think this is the best absolutely. rivalry in sports. Oh, the longest, the most fun high school sports is just so exciting, so great to be here today at this great tradition. As you said, Needham are having a rough season, you know, 2-8. and eight. It's not what they wanted, not what they expected. They were close in a lot of games, but just couldn't put it through. They did have a big win the last game of the season against Derby, and I'm sure you've heard about it or seen it, but I'm not sure all our fans have, where Needham went for a two-point conversion, which was actually flubbed because Caston's team, the quarterback, missed the handoff to the guy who was supposed to give it to, gave it to Rufo. Rufo ran into the line, got stuffed. Rufo ended up tossing it back to Castantine. Castantine ran around the round and just got it in for the two-point conversion. Then Needham blocked a field goal, so Needham ended up winning against Durfee. So hopefully that gives them a little momentum coming into this game. And another, I know you're a BC fan like I am, another quick story about Castantine is early in the season they lost to Natick, and I guess he saw Doug Flutie, and Doug Flutie said, you show some athleticism, so just keep playing hard and good things will come. And he was remembering that during that Durfee game. Absolutely. Wellesley coming in 7-3 and three into Thanksgiving, also off a win against Bishop Fien in their final game pre-Thanksgiving. Well, as we always do on these Thanksgiving broadcasts, we're now going to throw it to the senior send-off for the seniors who, just a matter of moments, will be playing their final game in a high school uniform. Sam Gear, slot receiver, outside linebacker, captain. Tom Seifert, tight end, inside linebacker, captain. Carlos Jerome, defensive back. Jack Boyer, wide receiver, D back. Liam Dino, safety, slot receiver. Lewis Person, running back, outside linebacker. Brian Peeney, guard, nose tackle. Adrian Rufo, number four, linebacker, running back. Ryan Hannigan, captain, number 16, corner, receiver. Will Harris, captain, number 19, linebacker. Hanson Miller, captain, number 55, inside linebacker. Nick Dugan, 71, left guard, right guard, right tackle, center. John Ogletree, captain, 88, fullback, tight end. Edgar Vasquez, number one, receiver and DB. Jake Cassantine, quarterback, number five. Tyler Harris, number six, outside linebacker. Matt Kurgel, number 10, kicker. Matty Farrar, number 11, wide receiver. Uh, Billy Mahoney, number 13, receiver. Griffin Caldwell, number 14, defensive back. Jack Curley, number 21, cornerback. Steven Lombardo, number 31, linebacker. Chris Northup, number 37, safety. Brendan Morley, number 38, defensive back. Michael Garrity, number 58, O-line. Tucker Burns, 68, defensive end. Patrick Morrison, number 69, left tackle. Ain O'Brien, 74, center. Peter Popkrikos, number 77, defensive lineman. Arkady Fusiak, 78, right tackle. Brady Ross, number 84, tight end slash wide receiver. All right, we're back here, and uh, as always, Bill, a lovely tribute to the seniors for both these programs who, like I said, are going to be playing their final game in a high school uniform here just coming up in a matter of moments as we see the uh, the senior walk just happened, uh, another great tradition of this rivalry. Now they're having the coin toss for, you for the seniors, just a, a very a very special day as we always talk about. And need them on the toss, and uh, hopefully that will be a things to come. I think you know, they did a Bella Checky and yeah, the they deferred, deferred to, to the, the second, second half. half. Yep, absolutely. And, and before we get into this game, there was a big game yesterday as well as the Powder Pop, Needham Senior Girls versus the Wellesley Senior Girls yeah. over at Memorial Park. I was lucky enough to attend that game. Great game. It was really intense, and I have a feeling that this will be intense as well. And I heard going into that that the Wellesley Girls were favored. Needham did end up coming on top uh, by six points, I think, was the final. Wellesley had a great kicker, though, I'll tell you. She made all the extra points, and <laughs> Wellesley also had the speedster that did wait. I did not catch their names, but in rivalry games, you just never know, you know? Yeah. You just Records never know. Records go out the window, yeah, as we always do. talk about. Records go out the window as the teams 
coming back from the coin toss, so we will uh, step aside here for a moment while they do the national anthem. We will be right back after the anthem here uh, on this telecast. Personnel, please stand. You want so me to do that? Okay. We thank you for your service to our country. Now we invite all to stand for the playing of our national anthem. The anthem will be performed by the Wellesley High School Pep Band under the direction of Mr. Steve Scott. Wow, they have one. And we're back here, a lovely rendition of the National Anthem just performed by the Wellesley High School Pep Band as we are just about ready for football here on this beautiful Thanksgiving morning here. Again from Wellesley High School, sunny skies, not too cold temperatures, Bill. I know you and I both did that uh, 2018 yeah, yeah, Thanksgiving broadcast where I think we're still, I think you and I are both still getting warm. I, I think I just street. thought, oh yeah. yeah. Just, and, and, it, and I love that this is happening again on Thanksgiving Day. You know, they played in, during that fall too back in March and it, it over Needham just didn't have that same feeling, you know? Yeah, and speaking of that fall two meeting, Wellesley did win that meeting by a 34 to nothing final. Wellesley has won the last two meetings between these two teams. They lead the overall series, uh, let me rem gotta remind myself here, 64 to 60 with nine ties. Again, this being the 134 installment. Wealthy, as I said, coming in seven and three to this matchup. They did make the playoffs this year and fell to Lincoln Sudbury in the Round of 16. Uh, How did Lincoln the, Subway end up doing? Do you know? They lost in the semifinals. Okay. Uh, before Wellesley did end up bouncing back with a victory over Bishop Fian in their last non Thanksgiving game. So we are just about set to go here. So the Rockets would just want to get on the scoreboard today. Might be a victory, Robbie, <laughs> but hopefully more than that for our Rocket who, fans. Who, who's kicking off for the Rockets? Uh, well, they do outside a lot, but he actually kicks away. That is uh, Matthew. K Kurt Zeal. As the they usually do an outside kick because they're worried about returns. That is and Jack they have a good return, you know. Yeah, that was Jack uh, Poirier on the return here for the Raiders. So he will take it out across the 35-yard line. So that's where Wellesley will set up offensively under the direction of junior quarterback Vincent Ferrara. On defense for Needham, you should look for Will Harris, number 19, and Brendan Morley, a defensive back, number 38. So we'll see how it goes. I like... I like. I actually like being here. There's a flag on the play. Oh, there I was like a flag being here because else. the need numbers are easy to read. When you're Needham and the and the blue and the it's just they have silver. It's harder to read. It's always good for your announcer if you can read the numbers. We you know? will. Uh, we'll have to get the call here, Coach Jesse they're, Davis. They're having a lot of talk about it. It's on yeah. the field, sort of trying to get either an explanation or trying to decide. I don't know. Well, again, we'll have to sort of check what the. I mean, what? The, the, I mean, it's, it's got to be a. I don't know why you have to have this long conversation about it, right? Well, Needham is up all the way back at about midfield, so I wonder if it's maybe against the Rockets. Again, I did not. There was nothing noticeable to they, us they, up they, here. Oh, it's uh, 12 men on the 12 field. 12 men on the field So they're probably going to re-kick. So, uh, well, it's weird where the flag was, though, because they kick off. Did he see 12 running down the field? Was that it? Yeah, you usually don't see 12 men on the field on a kickoff, so... But it, you'd think it would have been the guy right at the line, but I think... So, yeah, need, so yeah you're right. Needham yeah. is going to be pushed back five yards and is going to have to re-kick here, so... I don't <laughs> think they're going to do the onside kick here. <laughs> Although we wouldn't put a patch, Coach Kopko. And again, it will be Jack Poirier again back deep here to receive 
for the Raiders. Poirier, one of the seniors on this Raider team, has had a great year. Uh, I mean, that's just what you don't want if you're a Rocket fan to start the game. I don't know how it's not that difficult to count to 11. But I guess yeah, they've yeah, been out of school. They'd see, this is the problem, not having school on Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. Their mind's already going because <laughs> they all had school off yesterday. All right, well, we will do kick, kick off part two here back from the, I believe it will now be the 35 count yard this line? time? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, they got it right, it seems, this time. <laughs> Maybe they had, I don't know. The coach has got to be disappointed with that to start. Oh, though, absolutely. Huh? So Curtis Hill will be back deep again to do the kicking as, again, not a bad kick. kick off not a, yeah, almost Poirier, better than the first one, but Poirier takes it up to 15. He brings out across the 30, 35, 40, 45. He's across midfield, down the near sideline, and knocked out of bounds into Needham territory is Jack Poirier. So Wellesley actually, the beneficiaries of that penalty is huge, huge, huge get a, penalty, Robbie. Going to get a far better field position here inside Needham territory, and again, under the direction of junior quarterback Vincent Ferrara. Ryan Hannigan pushed him out of the bound. He's one of the captains in uh, one of the defensive backs for Needham. So was Wellesley a good passing team, I heard, I think? Yeah, yes, Wellesley uh, coming in numbers-wise, averaging about 24.5 points per game. Uh, well, Needham only averaging 13.4 points per game, and Wellesley gives up about 22 points per game, while Needham gives about 24. So, yeah, I mean, Wellesley, they like to run that sort of spread option attack with, uh, you know, both, I mean, they really have done sort of both air and ground attack, as we see here as Lewis Person on the run. He gets out across the 40-yard line, picks up about six, six yards on the play. Well, he's running a little yeah, bit they're of going quick, they're going here. Quick too, huh? they're on going this quick. opening drive. It's, it's interesting how football is so different from when I was a kid. You know, the, does the guy ever go over center anymore? <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> seem like it. Very rare. So it would be second down here as Ferrar to throw. It's complete on the far side. And that is enough of the first down. That's Sam Gear on the reception. Looked like a little bubble screen that one receiver took his guy deep, but then they got it out to this guy and made him, he missed a few. So as you said, it gives Wellesley a first down. Yeah, first and 10 from about the 35 of Needham. They are, for some reason, not putting what yard line is up on the scoreboard. So I apologize if we cannot quite see the yard marker. Is that the person again on the carry? Picks up a, nice picks up a couple Tyler on close. that one. Needham's, Needham's got a bunch of juniors that uh, play too, so they, I think they should be a little better next to, as they say, time will tell. So the pickup of three on that play, second down and seven coming up from, I believe was about the 32 yard line. As Ferrari again out of the gun, gives it off to Person, he breaks off one tackle, but then it's wrapped up for a short gain on the play. Needham defense doing a good job there of converging to the ball on that one and limiting Person's gain. Quick. Quick step to the left, got him into the hole and got him some yardage, but it will be like third and six, I think about. Yep, third and six, exactly, coming up here from about the 31 yard line. So probably, I mean, for Wellesley, you're probably looking at two down territory. Yeah, I, I, I would think so, here, yeah. Especially early on, Eddie Webb would be the field goal kicker. Has a pretty strong leg, but we'll have to see as they the throw same on play. the outside, but it incomplete. is incomplete. That was intended for Tom Seifer on the outside, but almost better off being yeah, incomplete. I, I think say, they would have lost yardage. He had to dive for it. And he, he fell. So yeah, he may have lost a couple of yards on that one because basically he was catching that ball on the ground. It looks so. like they like that play though. They send a receiver on then a, you know another receiver that way to kind of do a bubble screen to get him so open again. Just as we thought, Robbie, it is two down territory. So fourth and six. Yeah. Kind of so big play here early. Yeah, you big. know. Big early play here, especially for this Needham defense. Again, you're looking to try to get a good start to the game, keep Wellesley off the board here as Ferrara back to throw. He's looking, taking the pressure, now has to roll right. Still on his feet, Ferrara going down the well, far I don't think he got he there. Extends. I don't think he got and there. I, I mean, it's going to be very close, tough to see. Will Harris, one of the captains, no, stopped like him. It's going to be Needham football. Yep, Needham wow. ball. So Needham gets the early wow. stop on fourth down. So that is a huge Huge jo uh, job by that Needham defense getting the stop as uh, obviously after that kickoff return and the penalty. Yeah, the penalty. And well, a, yeah. a couple early first outs for Wellesley. The Needham defense holding firm here as their offense will come out at about their own 30-yard line, it looks like. 
So and Tate Hoffmeister is that big uh, running back. He's trying to get the number of the quarterbacks. 25. I've heard there have been a couple of different quarterbacks here. It is number five, Jay Castantine. Uh, uh, interesting, he's right under the center, you know. He looks like Rufo starting though with the backfield number four. Tate yep, Hoffmeister, we will see Tate Hoffmeister, number 25 though, who plays a lot. Jake Geller, who the handoff was supposed to go to in Durfee, does get the handoff there. And so they do give it to him, but he is stacked up. Maybe said I, I, he scrimmage. said, I missed you, Durfee. I'm going to get you today in Wellesley. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that was Jake, Jake Geller on the uh, carry there. Picks up one yard on the play. So and, it'll and be he'll, second he'll, down. He'll come nine. out of the game and they'll go with three wides. A very, very good crowd on hand here, by the way, folks. And people are still, yeah, they're still, still, filing, still in, yeah. filing in. As again, after well, a, know, a lot uh, of people go out last night, so maybe a little groggy <laughs> getting up to get here this morning, you know. But like it's you a saying, fun time to see your friends, alumni, absolutely. you know. A lot well, of people you see once a year, maybe. Well, like you were saying, Bill, I mean, it's very great to have this game back on Thanksgiving Day after a year's hiatus as Cassidy's pass was incomplete. Vasquez, that was intended Edgar for Vasquez. Edgar Vasquez on the far side. Edward Gass is his number one receiver that he likes to go to. You know, that looked a little high. I don't know whether he's a little pumped up, you know, so a little high on the throw. So now Needham with a big third down. Yep, third down and nine coming up here. And they're not built for third down nine. They're built for third down and three, <laughs> third down and two. So we'll see what happens, you know. Maybe so. look for the uh, tight end, Brady Ross. He's here on the our side. Yep, the Brady Wellesley Rockets side. With Two receivers split out wide and that one in tight there. Uh, single back in the backfield for Cassidy, who's back good, to throw. Good, good protection, good protection. Side out to Vasquez. He's going to be Vasquez. short though. And yeah, he's he going to be short. He gave, he gave he the, first, the down. first down marker. It depends, I guess, all on the spot here. It's a first yeah, down. Wow, first down wow. to it's hard to see through the uh, yeah. far side angle, but well, the, the, mark, the field we were talking about before the game, although it's 2017, the lines are hard to see. Especially from up here, you know. I didn't think it was a first down, but I, I'll I take it. I, th yeah, I, take thought, it. I thought he, he may be a little bit short on that, but regardless, it's a first down and 10 ball spotted at about the 35 now of Needham. So now Vasquez with, I mean, um, excuse me, now Cassidy with two backs in the backfield, single receiver split out wide to the near side. Now man comes in motion, that is Ryan Hannigan. And they're going to give Rufo it on has the got some run. Rufo's got some room to run, but quickly that hole closes there. It does pick up a decent yardage there out across the Needham about 45-yard line. That was really pretty I close to the Needham 45-yard line. So a good pickup there on first down for the Rockets. He did a little hesitation step, but I think if he kept powering forward, he might have got a little more. But that's not a bad first down play if you could get seven yards. You get seven yards every play, right? That's, yeah. That's going to bode well for your <laughs> offense. So they do give a pickup of seven. Second down at three. They spot a good coming up right at the 45 yard line. As again, Cassidy now with a single back. Now they split off four receivers wide. One of the Cassidy top of with a quarterback draw. And Cassidy's going to take it himself, and he's going to be knocked out of bounds just shy. It looks like a midfield. Just we'll have to get the spot. It's going to be a first down. Wow, so, so need him again moving those chains here early as they now uh, pick up the first down out to about their own 48-yard line, it looks like. And, uh, and yeah, a couple of good good pickups here for Needham so far. So And if you're a Needham fan, this is what you want, to keep Wellesley's offense off the field. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Uh, they didn't know the clock stopped out of bounds even in the first quarter this early. I guess every... Yeah, I think for all out of bounds, they do stop the clock. Not in the pros, but here I guess they do. Yeah, right? oh, we're going to get a uh, timeout, timeout here. Need timeout, Needham. Interesting timeout. They've had a couple As first downs. Now, they, now, 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 of course, the clock is now running. They seem, now they seem to be going Someone, well. someone might want to uh, let them the, know the that. The, 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 the officials have it on the field, so I'm sure they'll figure it out. Someone might want to let them know that the game clock is running. <laughs> <laughs> they have it on the field, so they're gonna it, they're gonna get it. You know, they're looking up at the scoreboard right now. I think the time was probably wrong, and so they're probably trying to get to the right time, which uh, is six fifty nine. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if maybe you're right, maybe Bill. They're they supposed yeah. to stop the clock out for uh, start the clock there on the outbound, yeah. so they're just sort of bringing it down to the correct. So time. we were talking at the beginning of the game about you know rivalries and it was funny because I was watching the Tom Brady specials in the first game Super Bowl when they beat the Rams they were big underdogs oh absolutely and they yeah. showed an interview with John Madden he goes like on paper they should win 
the Rams should beat the Patriots, but it goes, the games aren't played on paper. Absolutely, And that's yeah. like today. The games aren't played on we paper. Always, They're played right out here on the field. We always talk about how the records are sort of thrown out the window on Thanksgiving morning. You're absolutely right. As it's, uh, fir again, first out for the Rockets here at about the 48. They throw that's a nice play. Ball. That's completed. Uh, for another first out of the territory, there's John Ogletree on the reception, and he gets out so they, they to the uh, Wellesley 40 yard line. So, nice little pitch and catch there between Cassidy and Ogletree. They have two great tight ends between Ross and Ogletree, you know, so that's good to see. And we've seen some uh, great tight ends from New York. I was like just about Mr. to say, uh, Riley I mean, and some other big yeah, tight the, ends. The Smith brothers. Yeah, yeah, and, so. Uh, so, yeah, Needham definitely with their fair share of great tight ends over the years. And, I think Eric Johnson was a tight end even when yeah, he played oh yeah, way back when, uh, yep. <laughs> who ended up going pro. So again, first down and 10, the ball spot about the Wellesley 40 yard line. Inside they give up off. the middle. Bumble on the ground, on it! And it's oh. all loose, and Wellesley looks like they recover. Yes, they do, back at about their own 20 yard line. And I think it was Jake Gallo on the carry, and he was busted through the middle. Someone took his hand on it, knocked it away, so Turnovers, what game uh, end is, oh, they kill me. Tough break there for the Rockets, as like you said, that was a pretty, that was a look, looking to be yeah. a pretty good run there for Geller, but just had the ball, looked like he just had the ball knocked out on uh, it. We do have a replay monitor, but it's uh, kind of a tough angle here, but it looked like, yeah, the ball is kind of knocked out here, but again, Wellesley forcing the turnover here, which their defense has done very well this season, and especially in their winning causes so they will take over here for their second drive of the game right at their own 20 yard line here so let's see if need defense can step up again and we have a whistle here prior to the it's snap be a false start yep false start you is know it's so interesting Raiders. robbie in high school sports i was just here last saturday wellesley high thanks for hosting us as the needham girls won the volleyball yeah state championship yes, against yes. new north but it was a great base state conference great yeah. base state conference it state was five sets there, and the yeah. momentum goes back and forth in high school sports it swings so much kristen connor's our sports producer and i always talk about that and it's so important in high school sports to have mr mo on your side and after a turnover, the Mr. Mo need him have the momentum going down the field, but they the did. turnover gives it right back to the Raiders. Especially you get the fourth down stop on yeah. Wellesley's first drive. You're driving down the field as now Ferrara looking long back to throw. He's got a Turn. man out there. Nice and play. play, but we do have oh, no. on the play. I don't know about that. That was uh, Fuentes looked like he got his hands up and knocked it away. Oh, me, that was Marcus Fuentes on the roof. I don't know about the, that. Uh, I believe that was Sam Gear was the intended receiver. Oh, excuse me, Ravi. Because there's was no the thing as face guarding in high school. So looks to be, looks like it will be. Maybe he pushed it before it got there. I don't know. Maybe pushed him before it got there. But you know what I do like. I do like pass interference in high school and college better than the pros because the pros, you heave it down the field, the guy might bump into a guy and they get a 60-yard play. I like it. It's 15 yards, you know? 15 yards. So Walsey does pick up the first down here from now their own about 30-yard line. Oh, breaks off a tackle. He's still going. Yard around midfield, finally taken down. So Lewis Person, the senior running back there, doing a good job breaking out that initial and, and, tackle and get, pick up the first down the midfield for the Raiders. And he did a great job because someone reached in to grab him, grab the ball, and he held on. That's when Needham fumbled. He held on to it. Yeah, you got that. As you're, if you're a back, you got, you're always tight. You got to hold on. He, someone ripped right at it, and his arm got pulled back, but he held on, got a few more yards. Wellesley with another first down and a draw and up the middle. Now a give up the middle there. Up there the tackle by Will Harris, who we mentioned earlier, should be one of the big defensive players for Needham. He's a senior captain. That is uh, Max Poirier on the. Wellesley, uh, do they always the go yard. fast like this? Yeah, sometimes, yeah, sometimes. I mean, it's sort of. Off and on with them, but uh, yeah, right now definitely using the the up tempo sort of no huddle offense here. Is it was a pickup of three there for Poirier, second down seven. Looks like coming up, they're going to run that bubble screen again to the outside. Right. Tyler, Yen. Tyler Yen on the reception, he gets down deep into the territory, knocked out of bounds about the 25 yard line of Needham. So that nice time they ran the bubble screen to perfection yet had a and ton of room on that outside and a nice and nice pass by the quarterback because Hanson 55 and Needham just jumped up and he just got it over his hands and once they when they run that and they get by that first guy they're going to have a big opportunity and they do so Ferrara back to throw here taking some pressure. pressure he's going to be chased he's got to roll I can't believe right. he got away he throws and nearly picked off wow. that, that ball's a little bit under thrown as we 
have a do have a flag on the play. We'll have to check that. But uh, yeah, Ferrara doing a good job of escaping the pocket. Yeah, an eligible not, man downfield. That's not be surprising call. because when the play goes that long, your quarterback scrambling. You as a lineman think he's running, so you go downfield to block, but he ends up throwing it. So then, well, if you need him, you need this, you know. What did yeah. Pete Cronin say? Penalties are drive enders, are drive extenders. Ab absolutely, yes. That he's the BC announcer. I always steal that from. The drive enders, the drive extenders. Yes, the uh, BC football no, radio crew of John Meter Perrell and Pete Cronin. I think they, they declined, declined the penalty, it. Yeah, they so declined it. All right. They will take uh, the take second the down, down here. Yeah. Uh, that's interesting. I think I would have taken the penalty. Well, especially do you de that deep in your own territory, and you're trying to push Walsey back as far as you can go here. But uh, it will be second down and 10 at the Wellesley, it looks like the 25. They're, they're, the 25 they're not huddling, line. but they're not going that fast. Yeah, they're know? doing sort of, you know, like they you get the players from the sideline. Yeah, they'll take a look to the sideline, and we do have a man motion. We have another whistle, another flag here, I believe. Is it offside? Oh, no, it's the offside against yeah. Needham. I, so I saw that far, the far uh, ref on that, by that 20 yard, I dropped his flag and said the guy jumped. So it'll be second down five. See, this is. You think back about taking that penalty, and you know, it will be second and 15. And we, we do have the Wellesley student section over to our left here, making a lot of noise early. Good to see them out in force for... Uh, there was, they were all in red yesterday at the powder <laughs> pop. There was a ton of them, and Needham had a whiteout. I don't really see what Needham's doing today. I don't know. Maybe they're all wiped out. Need, but the, the, Needham, the, Needham, the Needham side is completely full. you got fans extended all the way around. We do have oh, a wide open. outside. Wide open, that is gear and he is down i believe inside the 10 yard line there yeah, he looks like the five inside the five maybe. yeah good pitch and catch there from ferrara to gear on that near side and first and goal and they're gonna hurry up again they don't want to they the don't want to come away here with no points like they did their first drive the handoff here to person he breaks through and he's in for a touchdown lewis person and the Raiders, like you said, Bill, they do not come away empty-handed that time as Person from five yards out. And the Raiders, with 4.17 to go in the first quarter, jump on top, 6 nothing. And it all goes back to that turnover. Momentum went over to Wellesley. They drove it right down the field. So Eddie Webb will come on to do the extra point. Yep, and I think Percy sort of broke off of an initial hit there and then was just able to walk it in for the touchdown so again Wellesley does strike first here sort of past the midway point of this first quarter as the extra point is up and it is good so again 417 to go here opening quarter and Wellesley again with that 7-0 lead but I will say this Bill Needham has shown on that first drive that they can move the ball down the field so you'll now see if that Needham offense can sort of keep up before that fumble that sort of positive momentum that they were getting part of that and try to sort of get it right back here on the Swalsey defense. So I do a lot of sports, as you know, Robbie, for the Needham channel, and we always talk about it, all sports. How do teams react after a score? Do you let it get you down, or do you come back, you know, fired up saying we're going to go right back at them? So they were moving the ball before. We'll have to see if they continue to move it, you know, in this possession. The other thing I, I just want to mention, I think I, there's a lot of stats in football, you know, passing yards, rushing yards, penalties, you know, time of possession. But I read one of the biggest stats that is talks about whether you're going to win a game or not is turnovers. 95% of the teams that win the turnover battle win the game. Yeah, absolutely. So right now, Wellesley is winning that turnover battle yes. and they're winning the game. Absolutely, yep. And that, that turnover led two points. So you had know, points off turnovers. Uh, that's why. For yeah, sure as well. Why, yeah. yeah. Let's see, maybe get a good run back too. So How Webb it? will tee it up here. Not as, a bad kick, line drive. No, right about back to the 10 yard line there. So it is brought in on the return well, good here coverage. for Needham. That's Hannigan on the return. And he gets out basically to about the 25 yard line Needham. So that's where the Rockets will take over for their second drive of the game here. And Hannigan usually is a good returner. He's got some speed, but Wellesley, very, you know, on a kickoff, you have to be very disciplined, stay in your lanes. And Wellesley was very disciplined and didn't give him anywhere to go. The only good thing about this is if you, if you are moving the ball, it can move it down the length of the field, you know, you can eat some clock again and keep it away from Wellesley. Yeah, no, that's, and that's what the Rockets were doing successfully, you know, up until that fumble on the opening drive as, uh, again, Castantine will lead 
The Needham offense out here with a single back to his right and uh, three receivers split out two to the near side. So first and 10, I get ball spot about the 25 yard line. That's Ross in motion. Man in motion, man does come in motion. Cassie back to throw. He's looking now being chased. Has to get rid of it, it's picked off. Picked off far inside, Cam Gear. He's down the sideline and he is in for a touchdown. Sam Gear with the pick six. He read that perfectly. Steps in front of Cassidy's throw and takes it down the far sideline to the house. And the Raiders, just like that, extend their lead out to 13 0. Well, I guess we got our question answered about the score. Wells, it came up all fired up. They probably figured Needham's going to pass. Cassidy's team, you know, came. Kind of telegraphed a little bit, but he's just smart, great defensive play by your know, Wellesley Raiders to jump in front of it and take it to the house for a pick six. Definitely a great play there by Gear again, undercutting that route and uh, picks up the pick six as Webb with another extra point trying to get it is good. So get 357 now to go here in this opening quarter, and well, just like that, Wellesley now find themselves up 14 nothing. And when, uh, and, and when you're an underdog, you don't want to get behind. Needham is not built to come from behind. And we were thinking of them trying to run off some time on the clock. Well, they run off six seconds, <laughs> and, they, and, that, and Wells got six points. <laughs> That's a point a second, you know? Yeah, right? about. It <laughs> seemed like that, right? So, so, again, we'll see how they react, yeah, you know? Needham, I mean, there still is a lot of football left to be played. They, again, yeah. they've shown they can move the ball against this Wellesley defense, but that definitely is not, <laughs> not what you want to see if you're – Need him offensively or the need him coaching staff there. You you just cannot make mistakes though, you know? When you're an underdog, you cannot make mistakes. And turnovers are mistakes. Absolutely. So, so let's see. Uh, Webb will tee it up once again We here. do not have Hannigan deep this time. We actually have Fuentes and Vasquez, the two speedy wide receivers. So maybe one of them can get something going. Could definitely use a good kickoff return here. If you I like the, the way that the way this kid kicked though wasn't a high one. It was kind of line drive, but makes it a little tough to run over and get, you know. Yeah, Eddie Webb definitely has a uh, definitely has a good knack for the kickoffs as well as the extra points as we've seen so far. Two for two on the extra points, and again kicks it to that that far sideline. Having a little bit of trouble, going there. I believe that was uh, Fuentes. Fuentes, and he is going to be stacked up at about again about the 25. So again, Needham will take over at about their own 25 yard line here and. <laughs> we'll see what if what Needham's third drive brings here. Uh, what have we got, 12-minute quarters? 12-minute quarters, So we yeah. need like a 15-minute, 49-second drive. 10 to the half. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen, but. Take it into the second quarter? <laughs> take it into the second half. Never yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Take this 349 in the 12 yeah, minutes yeah, of the next yeah, quarter. Yeah. <laughs> we did defer, right? So Yeah, so yeah, Needham, that's right, Needham. Look at that. Now it's interesting. After throwing the pick, they're going to tax. Oh, oh we've got a little, team. Uh, Razzle Dazzle has Rufo going Adrian the wildcat. With a single back, Cassidy now split out wide. Rufo is going to keep it himself and uh, will fall forward out across that 30 yard line. Did they even go out and cover Castantine? I mean, <laughs> it looks like there was a little bit of a extracurricular uh, there. I uh, mean, uh, I, in high school, I, I, would, I wouldn't even cover him. You know, Rufo's going to run it. I'd be yeah. shocked if he threw it, but <laughs> it but does. He, he it, did uh, pick up four. Yeah, so I mean, it is four, three times four is 12 and a first down, so it'd be nice if we could continue that on. I'm surprised we have not seen now Hoffmeister Cassidy, at all. Now Cassidy, by the way, is under center here with a uh, single receiver split out, eye backfield. Now, man, comes in motion. Cassidy takes the snap. He gives it off there. It's Rufo again. And he, he's he breaking off some, he broke he, off a couple tackles yeah, there, went, but it finally went, was stacked up there after a short gain. He went through one tackle, but then the rest of the Wellesley defense, their buddies came down. So what is it going to be, third and four, which? It'll be third well, and three, they're going to call it. Yeah, all right, you know how, three. I think this is two down territory. I know that's crazy on your own, whatever you have line, but well, this really nothing game, ventured, nothing gained, right? Especially down 14, nothing, you just never know. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. There's no games tomorrow, right? This is it. Yeah, this is the this is the last ride here. So again, third down and three at about the 35 yard line. Again, tight backfield, two receivers split out wide. Cassidy's gonna roll right. 
And he completes it for the first down there on the Ross, far Ross side. to Ross. Ross, he might have gotten a little more, but he slipped down. I've, we've seen a couple people slip on this turf. I don't know if they have the right cleats or not, but. So that was the first down for the Rockets out there to the Wellesley, I mean, to their own 40 yard line. So Needham able to move the chains here. People still filing in here. Yeah, I mean, it is, it is standing, standing room only basically at this field right now. So uh, good to see, like I said, a great crowd on hand here for this 134th Wellesley Needham game as Rufo is going to carry himself. He's going to be bad by a swarm of Raider tacklers in the backfield, lost a couple yards on the play. So Chuck, Chelsea definitely not letting Rufo get loose on that one. I believe Chuck Thornton is the uh, offensive coordinator and casting team going over to talk to him. He's probably saying, let's not run that play again. <laughs> Loss of three, they're gonna call it back out to the 37 uh, of Neem. Yep, the Ra and the Rockets head coach is uh, Doug Kopsko and the Raiders head coach is Jesse Davis. Again, both veteran coaches, both alums of the program. So as we always talk about a lot of coaching tie-ins with these, a lot of coaches who have played in this rivalry and uh, are now coaching in it, which is always good to see as it'll be second down 13, like I said, uh, as Cassidy back to throw. He has look time. Lucky, he's, he's got a man out there, it's Vasquez. Vasquez, he's oh, 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 almost right there. Yeah. He had the touchdown. Oh, right the there. It's a right through his fingers. Oh, he had his cover man B. And it basically had, the, like I said, had the touchdown in his hands, but just could not hang on. Tough, tough break there for the Rockets right there as it'll bring up a third down 13. Wow, I mean, that was the play you needed, right? You gotta make big plays in big games. He had the separation big, too from Well, the, from I think he DB. did a little push off. I mean, yeah. But in know. high school, I think you gotta let him get him away for that, you know, and. I didn't wanna say anything, wow. but it did look like he did a little one of these. Yeah, there he did the, the little push off, but it but got, it, got it open and. It's tough for the ref because he's looking at everything and he might look at the play. And so third down at 13, they will call it to, oh, a tough break there for Needham as, like I said, they had the score cut in half in their grasp right there. As now Cassidy again will throw. He's take it under pressure, pressure this time. And again, he's going to air it out. He's got to get wide open. Hannah gets, Hannah gets wide open. He, the 10 and he's in for wow. the touchdown. Wow. Ryan Hannigan on the reception there from Castantine, and they go right back to that deep ball. Castantine was able to elude the, the Raiders. Yeah, the pressure. And Great arm by him, huh? Completes it for a touchdown here. We do have, we do have, I think, was there a penalty marker on the field? The referees uh, are talking is. about this could be a hold on the defense. Wildly, so it I will be a touchdown. So. so usually in a play like that, when your quarterback's scrambling, as a receiver, you come back to him. I think Hannigan almost started coming back, but Cassidy threw it over, and the yeah. Wellesley guy was coming back too, and it over the that Wellesley guy, and Hannigan got back, able to get it. It was almost like a busted play, but it worked out for the best. And you know what? That was a good ball there by Cassidy because he was eluding some serious pressure there, and uh, like I said, able to get it off and able to complete it for a touchdown. So again, they go back to the deep ball and it works out for him as we're gonna have the extra point here attempt by uh, by Cassatine. <laughs> so yeah, he does. He, he does. Quarterback he, does the kicking. He's the pick, His he's the punter too. Up, and the punter. it is good. So 43 seconds to go in the first quarter and don't look now folks, but Needham cuts this Raider lead in half. And by the way, I must say, are actually on the board this year after being shut yeah. out the last two, not just against Wellesley. So, <laughs> as the Raiders still lead this one 14 to seven later, late in the first quarter. But yeah, I, I mean, mean, when I was talking about you know taking a lot of clock, they didn't take a lot of clock. But if we could get points, take them. Well, and those were. I will say this, Bill. Those were two good balls in a row by Castanti. He really should have had a the touchdown one, on the uh, first one. But Vasquez again just could not haul haul it in. But that one, he found Hannigan, and Hannigan definitely. And like Held I said, it, he was under pressure, and I really do think it was a busted play. And Hannigan starts going back to quarterback, so the Wellesley guy starts going back with him. But then all of a sudden, Hannigan says, like, wow, he's throwing it out. And Hannigan adjusted faster than the Wellesley defense. Yeah. He caught it, like, in his breadbasket, yeah. facing them. It wasn't, like, over the shoulder. It was in his breadbasket, turned around, used his speed, which I mentioned before, to get into the end zone. I thought they might catch him, but he showed his speed there. Well, and Hannigan, you're talking about what, they weren't really using him so far in the running game, but they definitely used him. Definitely used them in the passing game that time. They're so. gonna look at. They're looking like they're gonna do an onside kick here, Robbie. We yeah, we shall Tyler, see. Tyler yeah, number ten. 
No, uh, another pooch. A, a short kick. kick. Yeah, it looks Vic, like he fair caught it. Interesting. This could be a fair catch there by, I believe that is Yen, who with the fair catch about his own 25 yards, uh, knocked into one of his own teammates yeah, trying I'm, to I'm make that like fair Yen, catch. Of course, it was Kurtzil from Needham. I'm looking at the Wellesley roster. <laughs> Kurtzil kicked out. It was kind of a pooch, though. They're trying to mix up the kicking game, too, which I like, you know. I'd give you, gotta, I, you, you told it. me every time we kicked off, they got it at their 23. I'd take it. Right? Yeah. Hey, nothing wrong with that. So, again, Wellesley will take over at about their own 23-yard line. Uh, looking to re-extend this lead here as Ferraro will lead his offense back up here deep defensively. This would be, this is a, a big drive because you want to, you talked about momentum earlier. You want to keep that momentum They got if you are needed. Wellesley is a late kid and running off the field. if you possibly though. get a stop here. As there's a run here to nice first play. That nice time, play. that need of defense definitely met him. That's with my the boy Tucker Burns. In the backfield. I coached Tucker in baseball way back when. Great play by him. I so, know, I know the person who had the touchdown run on the opening drive was uh, bottled up there for a two yard loss. And so, I think Wellesley's just going to run down the clock here to the end of this first quarter. A very eventful and highly inter and highly high scoring first quarter so far as again the first quarter will end with Wellesley on top of Needham here 14 to 7 again the 134th installment of the oldest public high school football rivalry in the country and Bill while we have a moment you know obviously this game is sort of the uh the icing on the cake too it was a very successful fall season for both schools yes I mean, we talked talk, earlier yeah. about Needham winning the girls volleyball state championship we had both soccer teams and both field hockey teams for all for both schools making it to the MIAA state tournament and girls swimming well they need finished number one and yeah, two in one the state two, this so year so Bay State you know Bay State's them. great conference you know and how about all the Bay State conference like state state they won the, the girls soccer championship Nick who's the actually coached by Dave Weinwright who coaches Needham lacrosse yeah lacrosse, okay so oh, yeah, yeah. Needham, and a Needham native you know and Needham native girls out yeah and then you had an all Bay State Conference boys soccer final between Brookline yeah, and North yeah. won by Brookline you yeah. had an all Bay State Conference girls volleyball final Needham again defeating Newton North you again like I said you had Needham Wellesley and Needham coming one and two respectively in the state for uh girls swimming I mean, you just had so many successes so far in this fall season. And sort of, like I said, to top it all off, you get the wealth, the 134th Wealthy Needham game here in front of, like I said, a packed house. Here Wealthy High School's Ferraro's going to throw on the second. Under down pressure, the second under quarter. pressure. That's twice I've seen him get and away from pressure. He, he can will, move. He will get it away and throw out about there wisely, was, take the incompletion. Looks so like 79, George Darwin 12. was putting the pressure on him. It's fun doing this game for me, too, because I do know a bunch of the seniors on Needham because I have a son who's a senior Catholic Memorial, and he went to school with a lot of them up until eighth grade at Paulette. So I do know them. I knew I've coached some of them, as I said. So it's just fun knowing them. I know some of the parents. You know, I know um, Ryan Hannigan's mother is actually on Park and Rec now. His father's in the, I believe, Coast Guard, you know. So I know he's a veteran, so give him a shout-out. You know, you want to remember them not just on Veterans Day but all days. Most games they haven't stand up before the game. Here's Wellesley back. Ferrara back to throw it. He's he gonna gets be, he's him. Gonna be sacked. Oh, Ferrara. Wow. The pocket collapsed quickly there on Ferrara, and he was drilled. George Darwin Jr. stepping up. So what a, he almost be he was looking downfield, and I don't know. He was right in front of me. He almost didn't see him because he was looking downfield, and then all of a sudden he was on top of me. You're lucky he didn't fumble it. Yeah, no, that was a great. Great pressure by the Needham defensive front. It ends up paying dividends as uh, it will be Webb back deep to do the kicking in his own end zone. Back deep for the Rockets here. Fuentes right is, at the 50. Uh, yep, is Fuentes. And so a short punt there as Fuentes will grab nice it. Nice job. The midfield. They will pull that one in and will take it to about the Wellesley 40-yard line before he's finally knocked out about. So Needham's going to take over with great field position. I already have they cut this Raider lead to half, so a good chance for the Rockets to try to uh, get this ball game back tied here. One of my pet peeves, Robbie, is not catching a punt. <laughs> There's so many games up at Memorial Park that they have, they don't catch the punt, and it bounces and it goes 20 yards. Always catch the ball, you know? Even if you're not going to run it back, run up and catch it. Ab no, absolutely. Gotta, gotta catch those punts for sure. 
So well, Wellesley policeman trying to get the Wellesley fans going, saying he can't hear him. <laughs> great to see the police. Uh, you know, they coach the Potter Puff teams. Yeah. Great to see him do that. So Cassidy out of under center, I should say. Play actually, he's going to roll right and throw it's just it away. Gonna wisely get it. That was throw it out smart of play by him. Don't force anything. You know? There was Wellesley had good coverage there downfield. So like you said, Cassidy. Oh, we're going to have. Oh, I think they. I think the referee Brian talk for a moment. Maybe a potential, potential, uh, potential grounding there. But now he's going to say nope. He was outside the box. The ball got back across the line. Receivers were in the area, so it will just be an incompletion. Second down, Ted here. So let's see if Needham can get something going here. Ross, the tight end, way out to the left. Yep, you've got two receivers split out wide. I backfield here for Cassidy as Rufo the. Main back in the eye, and they do give it to Rufo that time, and he just runs into a swarm of Raider tacklers. But at on least that he falls for forward and gains some yard. You know, you think think that stop, but he gets three yards, which is uh, helpful, and it's definitely two down territory. Oh, absolutely on this side of the field, and that at that territory, absolutely is the, they give him a pickup of three on the play. It'll be third down and seven. So I would Mark Vandell behind us, the Needham director. Surveying the crowd coming in. Needham executive director. Yeah, we have say. a great. Kristen Connors in the truck. Our we have a great crew. Needham. We have a great crew on hand here from both Wellesley Media and the Needham Channel. A great collaborative effort like we always do for these Thanksgiving broadcasts. As Cassidy is going to roll out. He's, He's rolling right. Some, and short. He was looking for Hannigan. Sure, he had Hannigan out there and was lucky not. To, he threw it short because he also could have been picked off there. But. It falls incomplete. It will be fourth down coming up here for the Rockets. Uh, so big chance here for Wellesley to get that momentum back here. If they could get a stop here on fourth down, as like you said, Bill, the Rockets will keep Cassidy to the offense back out here on the field for this fourth down try. You know what? Uh, there's a kid here with a bullhorn from Wellesley, and I don't mind him talking and yelling, but let's not let's encourage, not say bad things. You know. <laughs> Let's keep, keep he was at the game keep yesterday. It, keep it classy, as we yeah, always yeah. say in this rivalry. A lot of, lot of respect. A lot of history. Lot Wellesley of history is West here. Needham, remember. <laughs> Cassidy rolling left. You see and someone he completes I it. First down. I think, it I all, think it's all going to depend on the spy. And yet, that's it looks like if they're spotting where that official is, it's going to be a first down oh. here for the Rockets. No. Oh, no. No, no. Wait. No, they're going to no, say hold first on. down. Yeah, wait, hold wait, on. Just you got to measure second. that. You got to measure that, I think. Wow. I thought from where the official was. How can they not the measure it? Side, How can they not measure it? From where the far side official was standing, I thought that he had the first down. So do I. And how, I don't understand how you don't measure it. I know it's right next to the pole there, but still measure it. Wow. wow. All right, so big, were, were big, these guys big break there I think Wellesley. I saw these refs in the parking lot being fed by the Wellesley people before the game. <laughs> no no comments. That's, a, that's <laughs> a couple calls here I would have to question. The pass interference and then not measuring the. But they did get, I mean, it, but, you know, there have been a couple of little, little push out there by Needham receivers that they haven't called either, so. Yeah, but the play didn't count. <laughs> <We> didn't <laughs> True. As Ferrari is going to give jet it off sweep, here. sweep, Needham there, so. They have to have again, just. Now with the vengeance there is that was, uh, I believe that was gear on the carry there. Hanson on the Miller outside. on the tackle, another one of the captains. So the captains for Needham coming up big, you know, and you expect big players to come up with big plays in big games. 79 coming out of the game, George loss Darwin, who's put some pressure on the quarterback. I, I it was get a him. loss of two, so second down to 12, they will call it. Ball spotted at about the 23-yard line of Wellesley. Person get it, gives, gets the carry to get it. Just that need of defense getting in that Raider backfield and able to swarm Parson there for another loss on the play. So Wellesley, after that opening drive, having a little bit of trouble getting that running game going. So we see Person coming off Tyler. a little bit gingerly there. So hopefully Tyler Close is okay. I, I know what I'm noticing. Nino's rotating a lot of defensive players in that. And I haven't seen that much this year. But maybe the coach is rewarding them for doing well in practice, you know, by getting them in this game. A bunch of juniors, and they're playing well. You know, Clausen played well. George Darwin so far has made some big plays. So 
They did give him a pickup of one on the play. I thought it might have been a loss there for Percy. It's a lot. They give him a pickup yeah. of one. So third down 11 is Ferrar back to throw. Looking long. Looking long. He's got a man out there. I believe that's Poirier. He makes the catch down the near sideline and to across the 30 of Needham. So the Vincent Ferrar hooking up with his favorite target there, Jack Poirier on the reception. And he takes it deep into Needham territory. Out across the Needham 30 for a big Raider first out on that one. And Brendan Morley on the coverage, but he just let him get behind him. You can't let him get behind you. Like, we play street football every Thanksgiving, and you can't let the guy get behind you. You know, the two-hand touch even. Can't let the guy get behind you. So first and 10 for the Raiders at the now at the Needham 29 yard line. Good for all the throw. And good job there. Again, the George there Darwin. George Darwin, yep. He's really playing well, you know. And tipping that one away. If they were looking, I think, again, to run another one of those, like, little bubble screens there. And... Uh, Darwin doing a good job again, the hand up and knocking that ball down. So fall eight complete and be second down and 10 here coming up for the Raiders. 8-17. So second down here, they give up the middle. He just keeps driving his legs. And that hit out there it was to Jacob Parker. Will Harris had it, but he just kept driving the legs. So that's a nice play by them. Third down, It'll be you know, unmanageable. You could probably run every play in your book here. Yep, pick up six, third down, four. And, you know, we always talk about with these wealthy backs, I feel like year in and year out, they do a great job of moving the legs, moving the feet. And I don't know why they the, the clock is not running here. Another screen, but some reason they run there, a screen pass. They stop him, I think, short. He's, I don't know, they, are they gonna give him the first down or not? Uh, now they, North, North yep, they, give, the they do give him the first down. So I was focused for a split second. Oh, they, it looks the like it's gonna say fourth. Oh, no, it's fourth. Fourth, down, fourth down one. Why wouldn't you do the quarterback sneak quick? Can now they give off to Parker. He breaks off a tackle. He's, He's gonna go. to ten, And he is in for a touchdown. Jacob Parker broke it to the near side, got free, and let's be take over with 7.57 to go in the opening half. Wellesley re-extends their lead to two scores. It's now 20 to seven. You see what happened there, Robbie, is uh, Wellesley saw it was fourth in an inch, and they got up there fast, handed off. I don't think Needham was even had their hands on the ground and set, so, you know, they've been going fast, but not going fast. This time they went fast. So, Webb will attempt the uh, another extra point here. As we wait, snap, ball's down, kick is up, and it is good. So, Wellesley using that big third down completion there from Ferrara to Poirier, which took them into deep territory, and then on that fourth down, and really inches, fourth down less than one, uh, Parker there with the run and takes it in for a touchdown, and, just like that, Wellesley back out to a two-score lead here, 21-7, with uh, less than eight minutes to go in this opening half. Crazy game, huh? Back and forth, and I, I really wasn't expecting this, you know? <laughs> I, even though it's 21-7, it do, you know, we would need him down two touchdowns, but it does feel like back and forth action. Well, and Needham, if Needham, can, Needham shown that they can Yeah, they, they can, can move the ball, and if they move can move the ball, the ball yeah. here and make it 21-14 and not give Wellesley much time, Needham does get the ball to start the second half, so... Absolutely. So, Hannigan, we'll Hannigan is back to uh, receive again with uh, Vasquez. Oh, Vasquez. Yep. So Hannigan, you know, uh, as we said, as some speed, it does seem like he kicks to this left side. Your kicker. So, catch the ball, run with the ball. You know. Absolutely. Yep. I hate when they don't catch it. So, again, Webb will be They're doing about the, the 18-yard line for soccer, which I think is the 10-yard line for football, right? Yes. You can see the markers on the far, far yeah, I mean side. The, I will say this season I've noticed here doing Wellesley games that the uh, <laughs> the yard numbers, especially on the near side of here, have become a little bit faint. So now it's a big kick. Oh, that's a great kick nice out there kick. by Webb. It will go in the end zone for a touchback. Is uh, there any wind? Not, I don't, the flag no, over by really. the scoreboard doesn't show much wind, so I don't think that's a factor, but he just booted the heck out of that ball. Needham will take over first attempt at their own 25-yard line. Funny, we have not, we have not seen Hoffmeister all game, and he had a big part of them getting this far because earlier in the season, Rufo was dinged up a little, so Rufo must be completely healthy. So they're going to go with Rufo while you have him. You know, he is one of your senior captains, so you might as well 
go yeah. with him. Well, speaking of senior running backs, we do see on the Wellesley sideline, Lewis Person, number 32, being uh, tended to. He did come out gingerly after one of his last runs, so we will sort of see what his status is as this game goes on. It looks like he's being taped up, yes, looking like he could make a return here. So it's Rufo on the run and just nowhere to go. That Wellesley defense reading that perfectly. You know, and he may have gone back to the original line of scrimmage or maybe like a loss of one or two on the play. We shall see where they spot it. It is going to be a loss. So good good penetration by that Raider defense right there. Ever since Castanty threw that interception on the first down play, they've been back to the run on first down. I think you got to mix it up and maybe go back to a pass on first down because now, you know, you are second 12 or whatever and they've got to be thinking you're passing, right? So they would say a loss of one on the play, second down and 11. Cassidy now two backs in the backfield, two receivers spell wide. Cassidy back to throw. He's looking long. He's got a man out there. And he's and caught it. It's caught. That's in Hannigan. Through Raider territory. Hannigan again with a big reception as Cassidy let it loose. And Hannigan was able to haul it with the defender. Pretty much draped over him on that one. and Over the shoulder. Looked like Willie Mays. Yeah, a great catch by Hannigan. And he takes it into Raider territory to about the Wellesley 40 yard line. So need him. For, you know, for the, the youngsters, who don't, know, for the youngsters who don't know Willie Mays, they can look it up, right? <laughs> you know what? Yeah. They, they kept both backs in to protect him, and when Castantine has time, he does well, right? Absolutely. We see Again, we've seen him with some really good deep balls so far, and that was another one right there. So Gallo and Rufo side by side with Castantine here as he goes to shotgun pistol. First down and 10. Again, they fought the ball just inside the uh, Raider 40 yard line. Castantine back to throw. Again, he's got going man to Hannigan out again. There. He's Hannigan. being held. He's being held. Yeah, There's the flag. You can't I mean, that one was, I hate to say it, that one was pretty clear. When you grab the jersey like that, you know, they're going to see it. If you body him a little, sometimes they don't see it. But when I pull your jersey, the pulling of the jersey, yeah. you see. No, it was very noticeable. Even from up here, you know, thir you know we're about 70 yards out here from where they are at the moment. That was a pretty clear Hold on now. Is the question will it be a hold or will it be a pass, pass interference? Gonna say, they are going to say pass interference. So, so one pass interference is 15, 15 yards. Will yep. be 10. Is that the difference? I believe so, yeah. yeah. So Needham marching right down. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, Needham just. This first quarter Needham with all the scoring. The this first pass. half, we're going to be at noon. <laughs> I'm going to have to tell my wife to delay the turkey. <laughs> so. 6.22 to go here in this opening half of play. Yeah, yeah, very Oh, nachos, look at that. Why are they bringing us nachos? <laughs> Popcorn, everything. <laughs> Do, are those donuts for us? Is there anything left? There, there are, yeah. I we'll have to check it out at half. We'll have to check it out at half. As Rufo there with the ball carry there gets stood up for, I think, no gain on the play. Uh, so, again, that rare, that rare run defense, very successful. There. Uh, you know, so far uh, containing the Needham run, but it's been the Needham pass game that has really helped them out with those Castantine deep balls there, you know, to uh, to Hannigan for the touchdown, and then, uh, you know, even to Hannigan on that last drive into Raider territory, so. Just quick note, person running along the sideline, looks like he's okay, so I'm sure he'll be back in the game. Yeah. Good to see, good to see again, person, one of the Raiders seniors, and has been uh, one of the talented Raider backs this season. That was it. Wellesley's going to take a timeout here. Talk things over defensively. Again, 5.37 to go opening half. And uh, Needham will be facing a second down and 12 coming out of the timeout. Yeah, what do you do with, what do you, well, what do you do with your Wellesley? I mean, Needham, Needham, what they're doing is mixing it up well because even if their runs aren't getting a lot of yardage, Wellesley has to play for the run and then Needham's able to pass it, you know? They, I, I think they might want to almost go into like a cover two or have two guys back, you know, safeties to help out those, uh, their defensive backs because they've been one-on-one -on -one and so far Needham has beaten them, you know. We've seen the two long completions to Hannigan and one dropped uh, or incomplete by Vasquez. So Needham's doing okay with that passing. So, and like I, was say, like, like I said, just to rear it, what is a beautiful day for football here. I mean, yes, we've gotten over a little bit here, but still, the sun is still, uh, it's not, 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 barely, not barely cold as it was a couple years back. No. And, uh, According to Mr. Verizon, it's 50 degrees, so we'll take that. Yeah, absolutely. So, and again, the crowd is lining the field. You see some pickup football games going on in the end zone. Always a great tradition at these Thanksgiving games. The youngsters of both towns usually uh, 
play some pickup football. So be second down 12. They're going to give it off here to Rufo. Uh, Drive your legs. I mean, um, that was a lot of work for two game, yards and yeah. one yard, huh? I think he may have got back to the original line of scrimmage, but nothing really more on that one as, uh, again, Wellesley doing a good job of meeting Rufo in particular at the point of attack and uh, stopping him for another short gain on that one. They pick a, give him a pickup of three, so it'll be third down and nine coming up here for the Rockets. Again, two down territory here, though, Bill. You yes, got to figure. Is. Um, they, they kick, Kastenstein has a pretty good leg, but I, you're not down two. You're not kicking a field goal. So here we go. Third down and nine. Kastenstein with a single back man. Now it comes to motion. He has four, basically had four receivers put out there. And a little bit of confusion there on the snap. I believe that's going to dry up a fall star against oh. Needham. Definitely. Oh. When you're already set back at 39, you definitely don't want to add the five yards no. to how it. Many, so. How many penalties? It's just the penalties, turnovers. I, oh, I could never be a coach. I'd, I'd be taking <laughs> Pepto-Bismol and Tums every 10 minutes, you know. <laughs> it would just drive me crazy, you know. If they make, if if you make you know, uh, mistakes, Needham, that's I okay. I think Needham is going to burn a timeout yeah, here. Mental errors just kill me, and talk, those are just mental errors, you know. Talk things over. Yep, so Needham using up a timeout. This kid's at the wrong game. He's got the St. Sebastian shirt. Who are they playing today? <laughs> I don't know if they play on Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Probably there or something. Uh, but it's a beautiful day, though. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. When weather's like this, the, of course the fans are going to come out. Oh, know? absolutely. That day in the hill, I'll never get over that day. We even had a little heater and <laughs> we'll, we'll wish, didn't work. <laughs> we'll wish Mike Franey was supposed to be here today, but he's a little under the weather, so wish him all the best, you know? Yeah. I no. was a little nervous, Rob, because I got my booster shot last night. I didn't know it would affect me, but I just got a left sore arm. So if they get a big score, don't punch me in the left no. arm, okay? Sometimes I oh, do that cute. during games. <laughs> I get physical with my co-announcer just to let you know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I mean, obviously... Yeah, definitely got to shout out Mike Crane, one of the uh, legendary Needham Channel announcer. Worked his several games with him over the years, and uh, a lot of a lot of broadcasters have made their way through this rivalry. And just happy that I've been gotten to be a part of it for all these years. And who's your who's your sports producer, Rebecca? Rebecca Karen. Yes, yes. give her a shout out too. I know yeah. she's there. I know on your right? little, you have a little slip of paper there with all the uh, with all our crew. So definitely toward the end of the game, we will definitely all shout right. them all out. As uh, Cassidy back to throw, he's, he's looking, time. he's rolling right. He's he oh, nice, he does grab. complete it. It's gonna be short, but nice grab. That was number 84. That was Brady Ross yeah. on the reception. He is short of the first down, but in two down territory, definitely brings Needham up to a more manageable fourth down situation. It could be fourth down about five. Needham uh, inside the Raider. 25 yard line here. Actually, they may be closer to the 20 so yard line. Fourth down, fourth big, big, four. big fourth down. They Remember when Wellesley down here? here? Yeah. When Wellesley was down and Needham stopped him, so Let's crowd, crowd knows it getting a little loud. Yep, crowd getting into it as uh, yeah, Cassidy will be under center. Fourth down, four. Roll it to his left. left. Taking some pressure. He's going to air it out and incomplete on that far sideline. Looks like Cassidy may have been just trying to get rid of that. Paul Turner says he had some pressure bearing down on him, but Wellesley defense holding firm, and they will take over here oh, that's, you with 3.49 that, to that's go tough, That's half. tough because we know Wellesley can drive it down the score quickly, and it's just like the play just didn't seem to develop in the right way. You could just see it from up here. You're there like, where is he going? And you know, when he got the big passes before, he had two guys in the back. He's better in the pocket than he is rolling out, you know. But he's only, a, uh, you know, only started playing his junior year. Yeah. So he's not had a ton of experience. So for not having a ton of experience, he's doing a great job. And by the way, Vincent Ferrar for Wellesley, only a junior I know. himself I'm this looking, year. I'm he, not looking forward to seeing him next yeah. year. And he, I think he, he was a starter for them last year or last uh, you know, fall two season as well. So he's had a couple years now under his belt as the Raiders starting quarterback. Yeah, he'll have one more year to go. So Needham can look forward to seeing Ferrar again next year under center for the Raiders as he will lead the offense out. Person is back into the game, which is good to see. As, as Gear on the reception takes it out, close to about the knee, uh, Raider 25 yard line. It will be need a knocked good down job. there, so about need five a, yard pickup yeah, on need first a down. Good job though, keeping him in bounds because I do think the clock will stop now as we get out of bounds. So Needham doing a good job. Second down at five, yeah, Needham, I'm sure looking to avoid a Raider score here before half. Already down by two scores at this person. 
on the run and he gets stacked up after a short gain. So we'll bring up a third down situation here. All right, Peter Papakarakis. We had to get the Greek thing in, you know, Peter <laughs> Papakarakis. <laughs> That's what I had to practice that one, you know. He's a stalwart in that center, like, like Vince Wolfork used to be, you know. So third down and three, they will call it. So options here if you were Wellesley offensively, you know, a third and short, definitely some choices to if whether you run or throw here. As for our will throw, take it to pressure, dumps it oh, off. Oh, he had him. He has him. Keep and take it down. Here, I believe he. They're going to push him forward for the first down, I think. Or no? No, I believe, that, I believe that was the first down. It was. Uh, I don't know. It looked like he was stopped short, but then I think well, they pushed uh, him forward and got the first down. Who, they originally had his shirt yeah, and had first him down, stopped. First and down, kept Raiders, pushing, you so. know. So first down for the Raiders, so they will move the chains here out to about the 30-yard line of the Raiders. So two and a half minutes to go here. And the Raiders will get a fresh Looks set like of Looks like Raiders going to put some pressure on. And here's the Person. Person. Great call. Perfect call against the Blitz. You know the draw? It's a perfect call. Needham Absolutely. Some pressure and they run right by it. Wellesley running out of her hurry up here. Again, a little two-minute offense here as we go under two minutes to play here in the half. And again, they'll give it to Person. Now time goes. No, we're oh, no. Wow. I think Needham has it. And you are yes, correct. They do. Needham picks it up. So Person that time, that time the one unable to hold on to the football. And Needham passes on it. They, that was a huge turnover here. Wow. With less than two wow. minutes to go before the half is able to take over wow. in Raider territory here. Wow. With now a chance to cut it back to a one score game here before half with, again, the fact that they will receive the second half kickoff. Uh, my son, Michael, used to be the sports producer at Do Some Sports, says that's his favorite call, yell and fumble. So sorry to interrupt you, Robbie. No, but that's I just okay. love yelling. No, 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 that's all right. And now the turnovers are even here. For, oh, yes. no, they're not because they had that interception. Yeah, the pick, yeah the pick, they're getting pick. closer to even. <laughs> Two to one, Wellesley still so in the Cass lead. So Cassidy out of the gun here with a uh, single back, two receivers split out. Now man comes in motion. Kelsey will give sweep. it on the outside. He gets and the corner, Hannigan. It was Hannigan, and he pushes forward for a bit of a pickup there on first down. Yeah, a bit, I think like eight. As from that, where that guy yeah, is. Oh, yeah, oh, wow, yeah, wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. They got a goal, though, you know, got a yep, goal. Uh, Nita, got, wow, I'm shocked Needham is huddling up here with a minute and a half to go. I mean, they do have one timeout remaining in their at their disposal. Only as one as time, don't you get five and a half? Not now, now it's only three. Now oh. since they've gone to the NFHS rules oh, a couple of years ago that is back down to three timeouts, which uh, it'll be second down two now. They're actually going to cause Kelsey to throw. He catches he it, I think. He completes it on the but far it's side. It looks like it's going to be a first down, though. It does stay in bounds, but they will stop the clock momentarily to, to move the chains. Nine isn't even on our roster. I don't uh, know. Yeah, I don't have a nine on mine either. He's a secret agent, secret Are you, are you looking at the wealthy roster again, or are you looking at the Needham no, roster? No, I'm looking at Needham Rockets football okay, roster. Okay, okay. Right? No nine. <laughs> well, I was six oh. afraid of seven, Robbie. <laughs> seven, eight, nine, yep. yep bingo. <laughs> Chris so O'Connor <laughs> loves that joke. First down I get one ten. dog, one dad joke First game. down and ten is Rufo. Rufo's getting nothing. They give it to him, which, which is surprising with under a bit to go. And now they're going to call yeah, the Needham, timeout. Needham is going to burn a timeout here with 42 seconds. Yep. Are you surprised they went to the, the run there with uh, that little, that little I don't time know. left? Well, Wellesley, you know, Wellesley Although they have shown them. that they can pick up, you know, 30-plus yard passes just like at the drop of a hat. So I, th I just, I'm not, I'm not surprised because, you know, Wellesley did a draw play, and I just don't know if that was the correct run play. Maybe a little hesitation draw, but Wellesley sniffed it out, did a good job. They are going to give him a loss of one on the play, so it'll be second down and 11. PA now they're shouting out the alumni for both schools, and I mean, as you were just he, talking about. He's got a fancy headset over there, huh, the Wellesley and Alpha. Yes, yeah. No, that is, no that regular is, mic for him. That he's is, got the that headset. That is a new, a relatively new setup the last couple of years. They have good, it's a really good sound system, because I feel like I've been over here and I can't hear them at all sometimes. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, but like you were saying this earlier, Bill. This is a sort of reunion event. I mean, you get alumni from yep. both schools coming back, you know, seeing friends, seeing There's family members, seeing everybody. I mean, everybody comes out to this Thanksgiving game and uh, coming out of the timeout will be a second down and 11 for the Rockets. 
Again, ball spotted See about the See if they the call two plays in the huddle, you know, if they, yeah. this is successful. Kathy back Russia. to throw. He dumps it off. It's caught by Rufo. Rufo, Rufo, Rufo broke one down. tackle, but was unable to bring up another. Stays in bounds. So, you, so you bring up a hurry. third down. Yeah, Dean's got to hurry up. You got 30 yeah, seconds they, to they, go they, in the they, half. They uh, cast a team getting up there. Cast a team. Trying to signal the play. want to get behind the center. Um, yeah, he does. He was just signaling out to his wide receivers, though. 20 seconds to go here in the half. Probably only two plays at this point. Uh, yeah, I mean, Kelsey's going to throw. He's going to look at it. He's got it. Vasquez makes the catch. And first down. Clock that was the first down. Clock will stop. Eight seconds. They might want to get up and try to spike they, it here. That's what, they, that's what I expect them to do. So clock will wow, run, so and uh, Cassidy will spike it with six seconds to go in the half. So we'll bring up a second down. So this will probably be first the first down. Uh, and I think this is going to be the play of the game. This is going to be the the I last mean, the play, play of the half. half. And uh, if you're new here, I mean, you just got got to take a shot for the end zone because uh, uh, yeah, maybe do that two point special end of the roof or lateral it back or a Philly special or a trick play, you know? Well, yeah, well Philly, Philly, Philly as they. <laughs> Uh, I mean, if you have a trick that, play, that I, play think I think that play still gives us Pat's heads nightmares. Yeah, I, I think if you later. have a trick play, though, now's not a bad time to use it. So it's first a goal from the nine, not a second I goal. I would I mean, go to Ross nine. over here. He's wide open. He's got a smaller defender on. Throw it up and let him get it, you know? So let's see, man. Comes in motion. Cassidy That's how to get in motion. Back to throw. Take it to pressure. He's going to air out. Yes! Hitting it. He's wow. in for a touchdown. Wow. With one second left to go in the half. You were, I mean, you called it, Bill. They go to hand again on that near side, and he had plenty of room to catch it and maneuver into the end zone and need him with literally one second to spare in this first half. Cuts the Raider lead back to one score here as it's 21-13 with the extra point pending. So I think Ross pulled his guy away, leaving the underneath open for Hannigan. So thank God you had your Wheaties this morning, Mr. Hannigan, because <laughs> you were both at Needham's touchdowns at this point. As Cassidy will attempt the extra point. Just sneaks it through. And it is good. So, again, one second left in the half, and it will be 21-14 uh, Raider lead. We'll see what Needham elects to do here on this kickoff. As again, I mean, this will put, kickoff will basically, barring a penalty, will be the last play of the first half. Um, unless yeah, I think this is where you squib it. Definitely, you don't want to kick it away. You know, just squib it down, let them recover it. So, but what a, I mean, what a first half offensively for both these teams. And uh, I did not see this coming from the Rockets. I, you know, you know kudos I, I, to them for you. Like you said, they haven't scored points in the last two games. They're hanging tough with them. You know. Yeah. No, and, they and, and, they and, have and, come and right. The difference come is right that play. pick six, right? Yeah, ab absolutely. Six. Yeah, exactly. Well, they scored two offensive touchdowns. Needham scored two offensive touchdowns. Exactly. Yeah, Sam Gears pick six. Definitely the difference in this one so far. As we approach halftime, like you said, Bill, Needham will receive the second half kickoff, so they're going to have an early chance in the second half to try to uh, to try to tie this thing up here. And you think about it, Bill. You know, what would have happened if Needham hadn't fumbled on that opening oh, try? This oh, could be no, a much different ball game, right? This could be a much different ball game right now. The only thing, like you said, you don't want to have a penalty. But even if you have a penalty, I don't think it's going to matter. They are going to do a little uh, squib, maybe yeah, onside yeah, kick so here. That's going to do it. Wellesley so. will recover. And that will bring us to the end of a very exciting first half of play here from this 134th meeting of the Wellesley Raiders and the Needham Rockets with Wellesley leading. 21 to 14 at the half. We are going to step away, folks, and we will be back with the second half of action from Wellesley High School after this on both Wellesley Media and the Needham Channel. Back here at Wellesley High School as we are just about underway for the second half of this 134th installment of Wellesley versus Needham with the Wellesley Raiders leading the Needham Rockets 21 to 14 as we start. The second half of play, Robbie Johnson, Bill Doherty here. Bill Doherty, who is currently making his way up the stands to our broadcast position here in the second half. Uh, well, here he is. Here he is, folks. Bill Doherty is back as Needham will take over. It was a uh, it was a touchback to start off the second half here, so Needham will take over at their own 20. Welcome back, Bill. Good to see you. Had to do the loop, Robbie. Had to go <laughs> see all my fans over there. Dan Lee, the athletic director, still thinks it wasn't a... 
It, w it was a first down uh, for Needham over there, so <laughs> that's what the Needham fans are saying. So first down and 10 for Needham at the 20 yard line here, starts like an ever. Nice pass there to Vasquez right off the bat. He looks a little bit a little, uh, slow, Mahomes, a little yeah. Yeah. sidearm Vasquez. throw there. As Dropped Vasquez on the arm. Out. He was a baseball player. Looked like a little uh, slider he threw there or something, you know? Pick up of nine, second down one. So Bill quickly, that first half, very offensive field, exciting first half as you know, Needham finds himself only down by seven here to start the second half. So and let's a couple, see if a couple of big calls, you know, that pass interference, and then Needham thought they had the first ball down, but they turned it back to Wellesley, you know. So some interest. Is he really stealing our donuts? <laughs> that's just not right. There's a handoff here to the outside. I believe that's Hannigan. Yeah, it is. He Hannigan. gets around the corner. Hannigan has some room there. Oh, it takes a hard hit. And uh, I think also check out all the Wellesley coaches in the process. Uh, everybody looks to be okay, hopefully. Uh, but uh, That looked like a hit in the powder puff <laughs> game yesterday. Yeah, Hannigan there does pick up the first down uh, there to the outside there. It looks like everybody's okay after that hard hit. Yeah, he does run into the uh, coach, but the coach is up and standing there. Right so it'll be first down and 10 for the Rockets. Uh, just across the line. Good thing it wasn't one of the skinny line. coaches. He's, that guy's got a little beat on him, so he's <laughs> got to be okay, I think. That is true, yeah. So Needham with uh, two receivers split out, one to each side, two backs in the backfield here for Cassidy. So Needham, again, looking here to try to generate a good drive here to start the second half. And oh, nearly that was lucky. picked that up was there lucky. with Cassidy. That was lucky. Don't throw it over the middle late, you know. It looked like he was intended there for uh, Ogletree across the middle. You're right, but very lucky he did not get picked off on that one. What did we do? We got gained you, Mark? Mark Mandel up with us now. The infamous Mark Mandel. <laughs> a, a jack of all trades for sure. As we got Master a, of none, is that how it goes? <laughs> I mean, hey, listen, I didn't want to go that far. Did you, give but, her, you know. did you give her her break? Is she going to get coffee for us or something? Or? <laughs> so it's second down and uh, 10, they're going to call again. Ball spot right about the 40. Cassidy this time under center with back in the eye as Cassidy is going to roll left. He's got, and he's got him. You know, it's complete. Oh, it's complete. Hannigan again, I think. Side. Hannigan having himself Was a it Hannigan? Yep, that is Hannigan into Needham territory. Have yourself a day, Mr. Hannigan. Yeah. Huh? And it's it, Needham has definitely found something. I don't think Wellesley was expecting Needham to pass like this. Yeah, I mean, how about, the, yeah, just Needham moving the ball once again here to start this second half as they are again into Raider territory here uh, at about the Wellesley, just across the Wellesley 45. So again, Cassidy will be under center. This time a true eye backfield. One receiver split out to the near side. As Shocker, they hand off to Rufo, Rufo over the left side. Like, that, yeah, that run game, I mean, the run game for the most part, Wellesley has been able to contain that at least pretty well gets, so though, far. You know, does he, pick up a few, though. Yeah, he thinks, you think he stopped, but he still gets two and a half yards, you know? So bring up a second down and seven, they'll call it. They give him a pickup of three. And... Like I said, a packed house here at Wellesley High School being treated to a good one so far here. It uh, almost feels like it's getting a little chilly of the sun going behind the clouds yeah, a, little a little bit. bit of, uh, that's all right. For November 25th, a month away from Christmas, we'll take it, right? Yeah, as a handoff here, again to Rufo. Getting a little push. And sort of went into sort of a wall of both blockers and tacklers. But, but that, that line on the far couple. side is going to give him like a couple more yards. So third and four maybe, third, Robbie? Yeah, it looks like third and four coming up here for the Rockets. So, and again, you got to figure two down territory here. As it will be a third down and four ball spotted about the 30 six of Wellesley. And it's funny, Needham's pass game, I don't remember any short pass. They're all not, at least nine or 10 yards are deeper, right? There's no short screens right, so or anything. Deep, the Wellesley bench encouraging the crowd here, which is uh, making their voices heard here, trying to encourage this Raider defense. So again, third down four, Cassidy out of the gun. Takes the step, drops back. He's looking, looking now. Has to step up in the pocket. Takes off and is going to be knocked down. And ball came the out ball the very end. Yeah, they ripped the ball say, out of his hands when he was down, though. So yeah, they're going to say down by contact on that. So it will be a fourth down coming up here for Needham. And 
pretty easy decision, as we said. The Eatable will keep the offense out of the field as they're going to say no gain on the play there for Castleteed. Uh, so it'll be a fourth down and four. So big, again, play here early in the second half. Needham looking to keep this potential game tag drive alive while Wellesley defensively looking to get a stop and get the ball back here. Castleteed will be out of the gun. He's got two. Back. Oh, now they're gonna they're gonna run that little wildcat here as Rufo is gonna step under or step up to uh, take the direct step. Castleteed rolls out. Rufo's gonna run He's it. Gonna He's gonna get got it. Room and he bounces off for a first down. Wow. Out across the 35 wow. yard line. So you could see there was an opening there for Rufo yeah. on that left hand side. He took full advantage of it and picks up a fresh set of downs here for the Rockets. I mean, they kind of figure he's running from that, but which way is he going? Right, left, you know? And the, who's ever on the left side did a great job for them. I think uh, 69, uh, Pat Morrison, another kid I coached in 76, Riley Block, opening up the holes over there on the left-hand side for him. So first down and 10, ball spot about the 30 of Wellesley. As Cassidy gives it up the middle this Geller, time. Geller, the fullback. As Geller, he bounces outside and has, looks to have enough for the first down before he's knocked out of bounds. Out of bounds, first out of bounds by number two, Jack Boyer. Yep, that was Jake Geller. You know, they don't use him that much, but when they do, he can be effective, you know, because they're so focused on Rufo. Well, they did pick up a fresh set of downs right there for the Rockets. So it'll be first out of 10 at the 16, they're going to spot it. So Needham into the red zone here on their opening drive of the second half, looking to tie this one up. Again, the Castatine under center, takes the direct south, gives this to Rufo that time, he bounced outside. In the hole and he just keeps churning and finally Rufo still on out. his feet, finally knocked out, out of bounds, nine, close to about the 10 right? yard what line, yeah. That's the, that's the tough part when they decide not to put the yard marker, the yard, where the ball of the yard yeah, yeah. is on, on the scoreboard. Is it is hard to see. It looks like six yard line. It looks like he's about the 10. It looks like they, they're going to spot the nine. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. Seven, yeah, second no, down okay. and three coming okay. up here. So Needham can get a first down, which is nice to yes. get a first down before you have to get in the touchdown. Cassatine will go under center here. Again, I backfield. Castleteed taking the direct step. Hand Inside off to Geller. Geller gets through. Geller might get the first and he down. pushes ahead. Rufo signaling and Castleteed yep, signaling first down. Definitely looks like he has enough. Yes, it is. So first down, Rockets. First and goal, First and goal coming up here. So again, Needham on this opening drive of the second half. Just as Bill, Bill Dermy is stepping on the microphone. I'm trying to cord. shut you off, Robbie. <laughs> So, so first the and goal. Says first and seven. So first and goal the from seven the yard seven line. yard line. So let's see. Need him knocking on the door here, folks. Let's see what happens. Two backs. As now again, they're gonna go into that wildcat. Out wide. Rufo out of the wildcat. Single back. Rufo's gonna keep it. He's coming he out to the outside. outside. He's got room to run. Oh, but Wells, he closed and it down. Good yep, defense close there. Quickly, is he? I didn't think he did get inside the five-yard line. But so. it was closed down well by one of your defenders. I can't see the. Yeah, number. yeah, it's hard with those with those black, two, uh, the run-on right black two numbers. One of your uh, that might have been maybe one Carlos Giron, who's one of the cornerbacks. Uh, yeah, it's again, it's hard to see. Numbers. Hard to see on that far side. To begin with, especially and with the numbers as well. So it might have been Jack Poria though, your free safety. So two, second two. down a goal at the three. They're going to call it. So they did give a pickup of four on the play. So now Cassidy will go under center. He's going to give Rufo. To Rufo up the middle, in. diving, and he's in. in for a touchdown. Wow! Wow is right. Adrian wow. Rufo with the three-yard touchdown run and. Needham, an extra point away now, Bill, from tying this one up just over the halfway point of this third quarter. And great, what, six minutes and two seconds I was about to say, yeah, geez, yeah, what a. That's what you want to what come a out. What a time killing half. drive here and I guess good Rockets. decision to defer. Yeah, it worked out perfectly for the Rockets as Cassidy will the, attempt the extra Did he play. Miss it? it is up, oh, and it is it. good. It almost looked like he missed it, but he stuck it through. Who's the guy, who's the big writer for the Herald, the sports guy, Danny V? Danny Ventura. He, he said that Wellesley should have no problem. Well, 
It'll be I interesting mean, to if see you look the at tweets this, going well, around well, right now. Well, that's what I said is if you look at this game on paper, I mean, if you look at the game on paper, Wellesley definitely had a big advantage coming in, but that's why you said the games are not played on paper, especially in this rivalry. Bill, like we see right here, we are all tied up. 21 to 21. And so let's see what Wellesley's offense could do here. As Jessica, do we have uh, someone tweeting for us, I hope? I hope Mike Levin's out there tweeting for us, you know. He's got to be doing something. Come on, Mike. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving to everyone on the crew, everyone watching, everyone here. You know, this game will be broadcast later, so hope everyone did have a great day. And I love Thanksgiving, Rob, because it's all the F words. Not the F word, we can't no, say no, that. No. Food, food, family, family football. Pub, football, right? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, without a doubt. And, uh, yeah, we hope everybody has a great Thanksgiving. Look at, look at Kurtz and Mike trying onside. I mean, they did that they at the did end that of right the second quarter. The first half, little, yeah. The ball was bouncing around a little, but we'll see. Needham has been known to uh, he does a little do pooch. a little trickeration on they, the little pooch. kickoff. Uh, is Yen on the return, and he gets, gets to out to 40. close to 40 yard line. That's so that's where Wellesley will take over for their first drive of the second half. Now, uh, now I saw you do a fair, he did a fair catch, but if the ball bounces and you don't uh, catch yeah, it, I'm then pretty the sure, fair yeah. catch is wiped yeah. out. You don't have to get it where I'm it is. I'm pretty sure, yeah. I don't know the rules well enough to know that one. The <laughs> Needham, coaches, like Needham coaches were, I think, maybe saying a little bit of something about that to the officials, but looks like yeah, they're going to say since the bounce that uh, it's fair game. You know, the other thing we have to look at, I heard on one of the plays Needham got a, got a touchdown on our play. I was talking to Sean Hannigan. He films for the Needham football that Needham had 12 plays on the field and oh, was well, not well they, called. So well, they, the did have, they did have 12 men on, on the, the field on that opening the kickoff. Game, so so they I think another play was like that. So they'll have to, you might want to look at that on the replay. But So first down and 10 ball. Sean is, the did 40. go to the University of Florida, though, so he might have trouble counting. Ferrara back to throw. He's rolling right. Looking to get rid of it, and it's just going to get away, just going to get it away out of bounds. Wisely takes the incompletion, so. Throws it into the Needham bench. He, he's doing a good job of what, he's only been sacked once, I believe. Yeah. So he's doing a good job avoiding the pressure, you know, and getting rid of the ball, not taking a loss. Absolutely. You know, you don't want to, you, the other thing is, as a quarterback, you don't, you try not to take the loss, but Tom Brady's philosophy, what, his best philosophy is end every possession with a kick. Whether you got to kick a punt, field goal, extra point. Every, yeah, every possession words, with a kick. Words to live by right there as we had a little bit of motion up front, but I don't think he line. did jump. So that was person on the carry. He picks up a few out of close to about the 35 or the 45 yard line, I should say. So so what Tom's basically saying is you don't want to throw an interception. You don't want to fumble. You don't want to turn it over and down. You want to have the kick. You know? Absolutely. So, they give him We've seen both four. teams pretty much do that today, yeah. though, huh? Third down and six coming up here, by the way, for the Raiders. So big play here for the Needham defense trying right after they tie the game. Looking to maybe get a three and out here. We shall see. Let's see if they can get some pressure. Uh, George Darwin, he's on the outside, 79. He's got some pressure here so Here goes far. in motion. Back to throw is Ferrara. Take it to pressure. Rolls. Oh. Some pressure he late. He throws it. Oh, what a one-handed catch. Wow. I believe that is gear. Wow. He is inside the 10. He's wow. into the end zone. Wow. Unbelievable. Sam Gear with a one-handed. That almost looked like an Odell Beckham type catch on that one. And he goes to the house. Touchdown, Raiders. Wow. wow, that's all I can say. Wow, you've got to send that one to ESPN. Da -da 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 -da, that's a top that ten was... high school play. If Mike Lynch was still doing his show, which is sad he's not, that is definitely a top ten high school play. Oh it looked like the ball was over the He stuck up his hand. He like overthrew his initial receiver and gear just right there to just stick like, out that right like hand. OBJ and... just pulled it out of the air. Yeah, ran down that far. And side by the way, what a job by Ferrari! They're getting yes, getting yes. that time to the to the right side as Webb will attempt the extra point. It is up, and it is good. So Wellesley retakes the lead here with 4:52 to go in the third quarter. And I mean. Bill, I know, you know we've both been watching this rivalry and calling this rivalry for many, many years. I think this may, that may definitely be on one of the, the top five or ten plays of this I, rivalry I, I of all time. That. I, I mean, I, at least that, yeah. that I've ever seen. One of the best, yes. Sam, Ge Sam Gear was 15 was the uh, Sam Gear. He's one of the captains. 
So he's also a backup quarterback, I see, what's listed, you know, so he did a great play there, you know. That was, that, I mean, that was just incredible. I mean, wow, wow is the only the, the, word I so can come up for that one. That on was a amazing. play like that, you just tip your cap to them, you know, you can't. There's not, we didn't do anything wrong. You couldn't defend it any better. They defended pretty just, well. They got pressure. They just, did everything they needed yeah, to do. Just, but you tip your cap to them and play on. So Wellesley back up by seven, 28-21. I never would have taken this. I think the over/under in this was probably 28, 28-21. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully uh, everybody. The hopefully under. everybody hammered the over to hammer the need of yeah. uh, plus 20. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Levin telling me a text. He is tweeting and doing replay. So working hard, Mike. Keep up the good work. Yeah, again, just a, a great crew here for both Wellesley Media and the Needham channel. Really great uh, collaboration. A great job, as we always do on these nice Thanksgiving broadcasts on web. Just with a boo. I mean, definitely no chance to return on that one. That will sail to the back of the end zone. It's for funny the when it kicks the other way, though. They're not going in there, but there doesn't seem to be much wind. But maybe we just aren't seeing it. You know? So, Bill, a big sort of test drive here for this Needham offense after sort of they're probably a little bit of shell shock after that catch by here right after they go down and tie the game. So let's see what this Needham offense could do here if they're able to bounce right back. You don't want to get behind to Wellesley by two touchdowns, although we were behind by two touchdowns and we're able to come back and tie it up. But as the game goes on, time gets tighter. You don't want to get behind, you know. Four Wellesley coach just called number one over to uh, talk to him about maybe don't let him off the line or something. They're playing yeah. up tighter, it looks like. Maybe 4 try to, bump to go in this third quarter. It's going to be Rufo, and that's going to be about a five-yard pickup there, about to about the 25-yard line. So we good see run 69 by him. crawling out of that for Needham. He was leading the way, who was uh, Pat Morrison. He was one of my baseball players. Always wanted to pitch. He wasn't great, but I did let him pitch, and he threw strikes, which is important. Second down at five. They will call it at the 25. Crowd getting quiet here, huh? Yeah. Uh, Quarterback draw right at the middle. He's going to run it. And maybe picked up about one or two on the play. Uh, not I'm a little surprised by that, that he didn't try and go on the outside. Well, the defense sort of converged. It's going to be third down coming up here at about three. Third down three, they will and I don't. I don't think they're in four down territory here. No, not. You never know, not but this, I don't think not so. This, I don't know about this deep. <laughs> no. But let's see, I mean, Needham has been able to uh, you see pick Chuck up Thornton. the first down. Chuck Thorne's right on that 25-yard line. The offense point is signaling in the plays. There looks to be a little confusion. Hopefully that Kept doesn't carry over gun. to the play. Back to throw, taking some pressure. He's looking long and just over the outro chart. He had Hannigan. As the intended receiver, Hannigan actually had some separation there, but I think Cassidy sailed out a tiny bit. As it falls incomplete, it will be a fourth down. It looks like they will bring the uh, punt team. Caston team wants to go for him. it, but Caston team's back to kick. It's always dangerous when your quarterback's the kicker, though, huh? So let's see what Caston team. Uh, could do on this punt. As it'll be Carlos Geron and uh, I'm trying to get the number Looks down. Looks like Needham running on a play late. Didn't have the right uh, personnel in there. And there's been a couple Luckily times. Luckily don't have to waste the time out. There's been a couple be times where they've only had, they've either had too many players or not enough. Cassatine, big, big high punt, which is As good. As it will be. Gerard there with the fair catch at about the 45, 45 of Wellesley. So that's where the Raiders will take over. So the Raiders, after retaking the lead, able to get the three and out. And now we will see what the Raider offense could do this time around uh, as they look to re-extend this lead back out to two scores. I still feel like there's people still coming in. I went to the men's room at halftime and there was a gate down there. People still trying to get in, you know. There's only one game again and early, again. It is. I mean, it is complete. The stands are completely packed. The line of people standing around the field is basically stretched all the way around. I mean, it is. It is one like a Wellesley Needham game that you that we have seen in, in past years where it, the crowd definitely comes out for this one. So as there was a handoff there on first down 
for a very minimal gain on the play. Happy late birthday, Bob. As we so go let's see what Wellesley minutes. does. They had that big pass play. It'll be second down. They're going to say no gain on Did the play. Did he score that first one on the long pass way, Pooh? Was it uh, Gear or was it someone else? No, Gear had the pick six. It was oh. uh, Lewis Person who had the, run, the early touchdown run. But someone had a big pass play. Oh, it was, uh, it was. There he is again. Oh, oh. almost another one handed catch. That one sailed a little bit. On Robbie Brogy, falls incomplete. Um, I think we do have a flag on the play. I hope we'll it's have to holding. chuck the flag. It looks to be Illegal in the area. Man down field. Field. That's twice they've been called yeah. for that. The first time they declined it. I would decline it. I, actually. I mean, this time I would decline it because that would bring it up a third down. Yeah, yeah Needham, I would decline it looks that like one. he's going to decline. I the wasn't penalty. so sure about the one before, but I. He, he won't. He it is so. Third down and ten coming up here. So big play here for the Needham defense. Yeah, because I, I don't know what Wells is going for three um, now. Here, from here. You know, yeah. I mean, you never know. I mean, at four, if it was fourth down and ten, they probably would kick it away. I would assume, especially since Webb, your punter, definitely is a uh, definitely has the leg to pin them deep. So Ferrara getting the signal in from the sideline here. He's got Person sort of right behind, pretty much right behind him on that one. Four receivers. Ferrara back to throw, taking some pressure. pressure. He's roll out. He's got his hand, and he's going to be he's taken gonna down. He's going to be sacked. Wow, Ferrara what a great play by Max Borey. No, not Max Borey. That's your guy, number seven for Needham. Ben Chapman just grabbed his right hand yeah. and wouldn't let he, go. Uh, yeah, he definitely grabbed on no, and would not let go for sure. Oh, absolutely. But Ferrara looked like he was trying his best to try to get away there. But Chapman, like, I've never seen that. He just grabbed luck. his wrist. They're going to call a... Uh, The referee, referee. Come, the, the, the referee, referee doesn't like the guy with the bullhorn because he's yelling out. They got to take the bullhorn out of here. He doesn't like the. Uh, he doesn't boy, like the chance is, they're doing. Yeah, this is this is rare that you see a. This is uh, they, this is what they did yesterday. They should have done a powder puff yesterday. You know. This is, this is rare that you see and that, and a fan get ejected by a referee. The, it's funny because last year and the coach. Coach last year had to, uh, the coaches yesterday had to go over and talk to the players that were on the sidelines, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the need of the Wellesley student Wellesley faithful a being a little, a little, uh, I little mean, well, the guy, because the guy with the bull home was, he wasn't being encouraging, you know. If you say, like, great play, a good thing, you know. I think the Wellesley, is this the Wellesley AD, the African American? Uh, no, this is no, that, AD? no, that is the assistant principal Drew Kelton. Okay. We've got. I think he's going to tell them to calm down, you know. He's, you can hear the ref say, get the ball yeah, out they're of here. Not start the Wellesley playing. police aren't really helping them, though. Yeah, the Wellesley police are just kind of. Yeah, let's go Raiders. That's a good cheer. Stick with that, you know. I haven't seen anyone All leave right. with a bullhorn. But All right. Well, we are we are uh, we are back to action here. <laughs> so may <laughs> oh, well, well, let's there's see what crazy, happens. There's been crazy plays off the field. There's been craziness off the field here. And again, we always talk about this, Bill. You know, this rivalry. Well, the teams want to go out and, you know, beat up on it each other. Looks like they might fake. No, he's just no, doing he's the rugby yeah, style. That's rugby style as uh, nice it'll be fair catch there. Good about the 25 by there by Vasquez. Oh, is that Fuentes? Fuentes is three, Vasquez yes. is one. They're very but, interchangeable. But uh, <laughs> what I was going to say is, I mean, we always talk about with this rivalry, you know, you want there to be that level of respect because this is a rivalry born out of respect. You know, they like to go on. You know, kill each other for the two, yeah, two and a half hours on the field, but you definitely want the fans and players to both show that respect, and uh, you know, definitely do not want to see any, you know, any unsportsmanlike shenanigans from either no. side. Um, but Needham, getting back to the game, Needham will get the ball back here. They do get forced the three and out. So two twelve left. Let's so see if they can have another six minute quarter. drive or something. Yeah, two twelve left in the third quarter here. Inside hand up to and the fullback. Hand off there. That is uh, Geller again. 
Gellin Roof have gone the whole way in the backfield. Yeah. I don't know whether Hoffman's is hurt or they just, like I just said, they feel like Rofeld's 100%, so let him go with it. He's the senior captain. He, they I don't know who the backup pick is to up Three on the play, second down seven for the Rockets. It's interesting because Geller, oh no, that's 28. I keep thinking that there's 88 on his jersey, but now Geller and Rufo both step one to each side of Cassatine who's out of the game. Well, it looks like they're coming with pressure. Cassatine back to Cassatine throw. Hesitates. He's gonna throw it deep. Held. He's got a man open. It's he was oh, held. Almost. Where is the flag? There. He was held. Definitely looked like a definite hold there. That he was, was held. number eight. Oh, that was Ogletree. John Ogletree there. Ogletree, but he was held going down. He grabbed his shoulder pad. It definitely, no, I, I, wow. I have to say, Bill, I agree. He definitely looked like there was a wow. grab there as Ogletree was trying to get wow. number eight. He almost held the pass in anyway, but regardless. Can we tell this guy with the sunglasses he's missing a good game? Maybe the sunglasses are shining in on him or something. So. That was a great play, and he was held, though. He grabbed his shoulder pad, but again, it's tired because the ref's running along the side. They're looking at other Big stuff. I think all the calls in games like that equal out in the end, you know? Yeah, third down and seven for the Rockets. So let's see what they do. Cassidy's going to roll left, take it to pressure. And there, there now is there the is a flag, as it looked like. So they got it this uh, time. That was Vasquez, who's the yeah, intended receiver. It looked time. like he was held I don't up think there. that ball was going to be caught either, so it's a bad penalty by Wellesley. Unnecessary penalty. It's going to be a first down, though, for the Rockets. They'll take, they'll take yeah, a first we'll down any way it, they can. Yeah. He was rolling out. When the team rolls, he's just not as strong a passer as when he's out. But, and so the ball looked deep, but, you know, if you grab the guy, you don't know if it is catchable or not, you know. So first out of 10, they will spot the ball at the 40. 45, about, right about the 45 of Needham. So we'll take it if you're a, a Needham fan, Absolutely. Rockets fan, you know, it's a first down. That's yep. what you want. Fresh out of down. We'll take it any way you can get it. First out of 10 at the 45, a minute 17 left to go here Cast in this third looking quarter. Back, they're doing it again. They're gonna, yep, they're going to bring Rufo this, in for the time? Wildcat. Uh, I believe so, yeah. As Kessie will split out wide. Rufo's going to keep it himself. And runs right down. Actually pushes forward for, you know, pretty decent gain. And they're on first down. Looks to be about a pickup of four. He just right keeps, about he just stays field. low, runs behind that offensive line. You know, led by Pat Morrison. My, he he's you know in some running backs you see run high, but he he runs low like kind of like a bull charging at you. You know, and it's hard to stop him then as we head down to the end of this third quarter. Second down at six as we are in the final minute of the third quarter. Again, 28-21, Wellesley, your score is this time we have Cassatine under center here. Again, second down at six with Rufo, the single back, as Cassidy's going to roll right. He could oh, oh, it looked you like. You jinxed that, Robbie. He <laughs> I called it a little bit too early. Yeah, that was in and out of Brady Ross's hands. Oh, that was Ross, yep. Ross he said he's got, the, I do that so many times, the announcer jinx. He's got, oh, oops. Looks like, he looked like, I mean, he, he had definitely it had him open, but unfortunately just could yeah. not have gone. So another third down here coming up for the Rockets. Third down at six from out right around midfield. Yeah, he hit him right in the hands. He just couldn't pull it down, you know. So He's we'll shaking see. his hands a little as he goes off. I don't know whether he bent a finger or something. The Rockets does have a strong arm. The Rockets, who the last time on third down were, uh, got the gift of the uh, pass interference call for the first down. Let's see what they could do here. Cassatine under center. Back to throw, rolls Back. left. Pressure. Takes some pressure. He just lobbed and it. Great catch. It is, oh, incomplete. Oh, it was I thought he had it. Now my jigs. For Fuentes who tried to make a nice diving catch there, but just could not hold on as Cassatine was just able to get rid of that as he was taking it was some kind serious of a floater, on that kind of a one. floater, and Fuentes dove for it, but I think it bounced off his chest and hit the turf. So be as you heard down, me say, I thought he caught it, you know? So it looks like Needham is keeping the uh, sort of the offensive view to out here. I and mean, we know Cassatine is the punter, but it looks like they're gonna go I for it, it here. Which does not surprise me, 14 Fourth seconds down left, six. The third quarter down. Down Let's seven. see what they do. They've had a good pass again. Out of the gun with a single back. Three receivers split out wide. Cassatine barking signals here. He will take the snap back to throw. Looking, looking at incomplete. 
Oh, Vasquez the pitch was a little open. bit too high there for Vasquez. He did have him open, but I think Kelsey kind of sailed that pass a little bit too much. And Wellesley is going to take over on downs. So, and yeah, just inside Edom territory. So, a big turnover on downs there for that Raider defense. And let's see if they can capitalize on it. Vasquez, you know, pound the turf, but I think that was just a high ball. He couldn't yeah, get that it. Yeah, that one was a little bit overthrown there. Because, again, he had Vasquez open. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I think Cassidy just kind of sailed that one a little bit. And in every game, Robbie, there's big moments. You don't always know when they are, when the game is going on, but I think we're going to look back to that series of downs, and especially if Wells goes here, think like imagine if Needham had got the first down, how this complexion of this game might have Absolutely. changed. Absolutely. So Ferrara out of the gun here with Person the single back. They give it to him. No, Ferrara's going to be throw. Oh, and he great is gonna play be by sacked. Second time of the game, George Darwin, the junior. Darwin got in there very quickly on Ferrara, who's trying a little play action there. And they take him down for sack. Back at about the Wellesley 45 yard line as the third quarter will come to an end. So we will make the turn and head for the fourth here. And again, just a seven point Raider lead as we enter the fourth quarter, 28-21. So this is classic Wellesley need to build. Coming down to the wire here as we enter the final 12 minutes of this one. George Darwin's just a big boy, and I don't know if someone else has heard or how he's in there, but he's just having a game of his life. And again, we're saying only a junior. So this should be another good match next year with the juniors we are playing on yeah. both sides of the ball for the Raiders and the Rockets. And you look at, you know, some of these Wellesley key skill guys, you look at Ferrara, you know, the quarterback, just a junior, Jacob Parker, who has a touchdown today, only a junior. Um, Robbie Brogy, one of the key Raider receivers this year, only a sophomore. Xavier Ferrara, the Raider tight end, a junior. Tyler Yen, who's caught a couple balls today a junior I mean so they definitely have Max Poirier only a sophomore they've used him out of the backfield so I mean both these teams well they have you know the seniors obviously who will be making their departure after this game they do have some talent in the younger grades to definitely look out for here in the coming years you're absolutely right So we've got the start of the fourth quarter here. It'll be a second down of 20 for the Raiders. They get ball spotted back at their own 45-yard line. That's a big, big sack. But he's Ferrara got time back here. To throw. He's, he's got, got step up in the pocket. He's going to take it down, take it down again. again. Yep, you're absolutely right. He had time to throw initially, but the pocket kind of collapsed quickly around him, and again, Ferrara take it down for a sack on the play. That's gonna bring up a third down here. And almost a cab ride, as, as uh, Mike Freeman yeah, would say. Basically bet halfway between here and Noon Lower Falls. Yeah. We, uh, third down I'm, 25, I'm, they give know, a loss of five on the play, so. I'm still nervous though, I'm still nervous because we've seen Wellesley with their long they, passes. They, you both know, teams they, have definitely utilized the deep ball to their advantage so far this game, so. Definitely capable so this is a play of if you need him, you want to let him catch in front of you, but make sure you make that tackle. Watch out for that marker. Watch out, you know, watch out for that they first They go for the draw and step and need him all yep. over it. Max Poirier, the ball carrier. Wow. And so, gets so, nowhere. Wow. Who would have thought that, Robbie? They ran three plays and lost, what, 18 yards? Uh, yeah, about, yep, exactly. You're exactly right. 18 yards. Wow. Combined losses on that play. And just like See, that I got my need, I got my need him high math going yeah. for me, Robbie. Class of 78. As Wellesley, after you know that big fourth down stop, unable to take advantage as they will go three and out as Webb back deep to punt. And a uh, high, kind of a high hang, but he's gonna catch. No, they run away. See, it's gonna take this is what kills me. Ah! It's gonna take a ah! Wellesley bout there inside the 30 yard line. You gotta line, run so. up and catch up all. That cost us 10 yards, don't you think? Maybe 15? And, I mean, it looked like if he had fair caught it, it was about at the 40 yard line. Now back inside the 30, so you're absolutely right. It just Bill, kills definitely me. Definitely a uh, change in sort of the field position battle on that one, so. As a BC fan, my favorite pun returner was Gerard Phelan. We used to joke he was fair catch Phelan, but he caught every punt, you know, and. Hey, it, nothing, it wrong with, nothing wrong with it, that. It didn't give them other team, you know, an extra 10 yard bounce. So 10.31 left to go here in this. Needham has to do really something for, with yeah. this drive though. Let's they're, see they're what the playing, Rockets can playing do. Playing on borrowed time here, you know. As it'll be an eye backfield 
single man, single receiver. Now it comes in motion. They give off to Rufo again. Rufo just keeps pulling the leg, yeah, pushing though, ahead, yeah. pushing ahead. Picks up like maybe about four on that one. Gear plays both ways. Did I just hear yeah. the name of the tackle? Yep, Sam Gear plays receiver and plays defensive end. And actually has touchdowns on both sides today with the pick six and that one-handed catch. So He's, Sam Gear and he his ate final, his too. Maybe he even had again at breakfast together. And his final game in a Raider uniform, definitely making the most out of it. So second down at six, they will call it here as they get Castillo out of the gun. He gives it up the middle here to Rufo. Rufo push it ahead. Picks eight, up, eight. gets down close to that, about a yard or two shy of that first down. So it's going to be a uh, I would run very manageable I'd run third down here for Needham as. Don't mess around, run it again. Especially since Rufo has picked up on those first two carries alone, nine yards. Yeah. So wouldn't be surprised if they gave it back to her. Maybe a little uh, one of those fullback handoffs that we've seen. Maybe to the uh, Wildcat that they've done a couple times. Well, you wonder if you're, well, Kelsey is going under center, so. Uh, but you wonder if you're Wellesley defensively probably keying on Rufo. And they do give it the to Geller. He bats yeah. outside. He's got some room to run. Switch. Oh, almost. Nearly lost it, but yeah. is able to hang on and gets knocked out. That's right about When he bobbled field. that ball, I was seeing the ball bobble uh, yeah. on the other side when he fumbled him. Yeah. Like, hold on to it. Yeah. You know? But he does Whoop. pick up the first down, right, like wow. I said, right out close to midfield. So Needham. Able to move those chains and move the football right now here. It was a smart play by him switching from his right to his left hand, but he didn't do it smoothly. Well, you it's so to, bobbled, you know. You had to think that Wellesley defensively was going to be keying on Rufo on that one. Yeah. So a smart play call by them yep. to give it uh, to him as now they do go right back to Rufo on the carry, and he you know, runs, he, he in, just, runs into a stack good, on uh, that line. We do have a flag that comes hold, in late. Definitely flag. is in the area of a hold. Yeah. Now, what's interesting is the Wellesley coach had just gone out and talked to the referee. Yeah, he may be at the end of, at the end of that there was Geller's something run. On that, uh, uh, on at that the Geller end of Geller's run. run, I think he said, watch out for the hold, and the ref appeared to have listened to him. <laughs> Needham coach, of course, not liking this. So, oh, back to so. Pete Crone and drive enders and drive extenders, right? Yep. Penalties, and we hope this is not a drive ender for Needham. It'll be first down 20 is now that will bring the ball back into oh. Needham territory, back oh. at the 35 yard oh. line of Needham. I'm not going to be able to broadcast forever because I can't even, I, my heart pounds on these games just like you're down there, you know. Like, I remember doing the volleyball game with Kristen Connors where both I like, whoa, you know, we got to breathe. Well, especially that five, yeah, it goes, five, five sets, sets state championship. the state title. I feel I like mean. this is a state championship though, right? It's the oldest rivalry. It's a huge oh, game. Oh, yeah. This is both teams Super Bowl for sure. It's yeah. Cassidy back to throw. Hannigan's he's open. Long. He's got Hannigan. And he's he got it. the catch back in the territory. So you and got picks up the Hannigan, first Hannigan down. Looks, Hannigan's dinged up, though. Hopefully he yep. just got the so wind knocked get out of him. But yeah, he's, he's got a little dip in his step. There, you know. No, he's that count got to take him out. Ori Rockford, the Needham trainer's over there. I saw him at halftime. He'll take a look at him. So, but what a pitch and catch there between Cassidy and Ed. Hannigan you don't want to lose Hannigan, though. He's been no, a huge part of today's not, game. As it'll be first and ten for the Rockets at the need at the uh, Raider 36. Again, Hannigan time two, becoming two an touchdowns. issue here. Hannigan has two touchdowns. Right? Uh, two three. Yes, Hannigan does have two touchdowns. As a handoff here to Rufo, he well, breaks he through. Gets He's through. He's got room out across the fifth, the 25, and picks up the first down down. Close to the Raider 20 yard line. We got a line. barn burner here. We got a barn burner, folks. I'm sure. It, strap in, folks. If you're watching this at home, strap in. Uh, I mean, people did not expect this. I'm telling you, there's tweets going out, and I'm sure, like, people are looking at it. One of the Wellesley policemen trying to play defense, you know. You know, he's trying to get the positive cheer. Let's get Absolutely. the defense going. Absolutely. Yeah, they, they are trying to fire up this I Raider I think he was one section. of the powder puff coaches. First out of Ted Ball spotted out of like it's about the 22 of Raider of the Raiders. Cassidy he's rolling left. Get rid of Fins it. On his feet. Get rid of it. Still on his feet. Finally able to air it out. It is caught on the There's near two flags, side Someone, There are two flags. We'll I think check. it's going to be against Wellesley, but we'll see. We'll have to check the flag. The ball is caught at about the 10 yard line there by Brady Ross. If it stands, it would be a first down. I think it's going to stand. For Needham. It's going to be holding. Let's see what they call I here. I can't believe you're going to get offensive pass interference. Yeah. 
I know, they're discussing. Yeah, put the could ball down there. That's going to be against Wellesley. So it's going to be yeah, first. Yeah, Constantine is signaling, yeah, so it looks it's like. It's going to be like first and goal maybe from the It's going to be a hold what. against Wellesley. Coach Jesse Davis out there. I think, I he's the, I think I, he thought that Dina may the have committed a hold for I take the penalty here. Know why? Because then you have first and goal at the 12. It's the first down at the 12 instead of first down. And then at you the can 10. pick up another first and then you down. Can pick up another yeah. first down. That's so a where's good coach? Uh, Take the penalty, coach. Take the penalty. If if the the coaches they're, are they're not going to march it. They're not going to march it down further from there. They have to put it it's down a, to the five. Right now it's at the five yard line. Yeah. Well. Uh, so do they add it on after the catch? They're talking a lot uh, about it. Know, this, is where you, a, this is where you really got to know rules if you're a I also rap, wish you know? the referees would be like, the, you know, like in the college now, program, now, how they see, come out and Now they're putting it. it back, and now they're going to talk to Coach Kopsko. And if I'm Coach Kopsko, you understand what I'm saying, right? Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean. Wouldn't you have rather first and down from the 12 so you have the opportunity absolutely. to get a first down? Absolutely. But it looks like they are going to keep his first down and goal from the 10-yard line. So here we go, folks. This is a big sequence right here. Needham looking to try to tie this thing up. First and goal. Cassidy under center. Rufo. Gives it to Rufo. He bounces the head. Still going. Down close to the five-yard like line. They're trying, someone late's trying to rip the ball out, but great gain on first down. Yeah, definitely. Rufo, and you're right about Rufo. I mean, he really put, turns those feet and really does a good job there of staying alive, getting those extra yards after contact. So picked up five there, second goal, and second goal coming up at the five. Now, when we get later in this game, would anyone go for two? Well, we I do. Mean, we, we gotta there, get a there, touchdown there, first, there have been a few times in, the, in this rivalry where teams have scored late and gone for two Gotta and take the care win. of business yeah, first though, absolutely. right? absolutely. Second goal at the five. Cassidy with the eye backfield behind. They give the Rufo, Rufo again. Bounces he outside. Breaks the tackle. Bounces in for the in touchdown. For touchdown. Wow. What a yeoman's work by Rufo today. They Adrian just, and Rufo again. Just tossed the ball over the ref. Act like I love who said it before. Act like you've been there before in the end zone, right? So Needham. Kick away. Strikes within one. 28-27 with 6.17 left to go Coach here Cassidy now. Cassidy talking. Decision time Cassidy here is for talking Coach, to Coach Kopsko Kopsko. And the Rockets. I think, though, with six minutes left, you go for one. Let's see. They are go for one with six minutes out. left. They are bringing out. They're going to they're gonna have Cassidy back in the uh, PAT. Yeah. Kick so it. let's see. Big once, once you get on, PAT, never a short no, thing in high school football. Once, so we once, shall you, see. once you get under five, I would go for two. But I think this is the so right let's call. Let's see. The snap. Ball's down. Kick is away. It's good. And it is good. So don't look now, folks. 6 17 to go in this one. And we are all tied up again. 28 28. So if you're now wow. Raider offensively, after they retook the lead 28-21, has had a struggle here on these last couple drives to get anything going. Let's see. This is going to be a big drive for both sides because if you're Neiman, you want to keep this momentum here. Wellesley, you would love to go right back down on the field and score. You're right down the field and score here. So let's see what happens. Now, if I'm Wellesley, what I do is I got to keep in a couple backs to block. If you're passing, keep it back, come some backs in the block. Yeah, give Ferrar some time to throw for sure. Now we have had some some overtime some memorable overtime matchups so throughout the I years. I can't handle overtime, Robbie. You're on your own for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. The Jessica, last you want to jump on for overtime? <laughs> She's shaking her head. No. The fr I think the last overtime game was that uh, 2000 was it was the 2010 one. I believe that was the last overtime meeting between these two teams. And Mark Wright, you were talking about Mark Wright yeah. earlier. He had the game-winning touchdown over Memorial Field in that one as Poirier is going to return this one, and Jack Poirier gets out close about the Wellesley 40-yard line before he is taken down. So that's where the Raiders will take over here. Again, all tied up here, folks. 28, 28, 6, 11 to go in regulation here. Just, Robbie, i got to tell you, you know, someone came up to me the other day, and even though we didn't get to do a game last year, we did that football special, and it was great to do on Zoom. Oh, and we yeah. just talked credit, about credit, all the great credit games. Credit to Mike Levin for that yeah, one. That and Mike was, that Riley was, awesome. was there, Carl Schofield. Uh, Mike, Mike Franny, Franny, all these yeah. people have done games. And a gentleman came up to me on Veterans Day. He said he, he loved watching that program because he didn't know the whole history. So uh, even though we didn't get to do the game, we got to give some entertainment to some people out there. Not as much entertainment as this game has no. been, though, Robbie. 
Not at all as Ferrara's gonna it. hand off to Person. Again, Person just stacked up at the backfield. Raiders have Tyler Close I nine. believe number 44, so another junior. Have had some struggles here uh -oh, running the he's football. Down, yeah, we do have it looks like cramps though. Injured Rocket on the play. That is uh, like you were it's saying, Klosa. that is uh Klosa, who does get up and is Yeah, but uh, the ref blew the whistle, so he's gonna have to come out. No, but he is so uh, at, least, at least he's getting in. up and sort of walking yeah, out off the field. I think under it was just cramps. Power. It was just cramps because they were going right to, you know, like you see at a soccer match, pushing his toe back and stuff. So give him some salt pills or a Bloody Mary, whatever it takes, right? Get him back in. <laughs> just kidding okay. with the Bloody Mary, folks. They got under pressure again. Get him. He's going to be good. And he's going to be sacked. Wow. wow. Tucker Burns. What happened to the Wellesley protection, Robbie? It is, yeah, it is. And he's limping. Uh, yeah, Ferrara has been taking a beating here in the second half. And you saw it again. That protection just broke down and very Needham, quickly. Needham not really blitzing the just the outside guys. You know, between Darwin and uh, Tucker Burns. And By the way, that was a loss of eight on the play. So third down, 17 coming up here. The last two possessions have been going backwards. They really have, so. Let's see what Wellesley elects to do here on this third down and 17 from about their own 30 yard line. Ferrara back to throw. Look at Buddy. Again, taking pressure. He's him. able to step away. He's still looking. He's a deep. down field. Oh, and what a great play. play. Great God play by the yeah, Needham defender. Play number 32. 37, I think, 30, Northrop. 37, excuse me, Chris Northrop. Northrop. What a play. He didn't interfere, reached his left hand in yeah. and batted the ball Great away. Job Great job by Northup. Now Wellesley, uh, oh wait, there's, there's a flag. There's a tenant for gear. There's a flag on the play. That's no, a, a hole okay. against Wellesley. That's going to be declined. So, so now do you go for it if you Wellesley or no, is it too I early? Think you, I think you got a punch. 50, you got three so you got a punch, right? Especially with the tie game at your own 30 yard line. You do not want to risk giving Needham the ball back. Marcus, catch the ball. Do you think he heard me? Uh, he very, very well may have, yeah. He's back. He's I don't want to yell into the mic. 40 but. yard line as Webb gets a good, pretty decent kick as Fuentes will. Oh, signal come on, for Marcus. The pair of you got to come up and take catch that ball, bounce. Marcus. Down inside the oh, Needham 30 yard line. So that's where Needham is going to take over here, folks. 4.38 left to go. And now, don't look down, So, so should, we, should we do math at all? I mean, Need like, it with a chance here to take their first lead of the contest on this drive. No turnovers. No raspberry, no strawberry, no turnovers. What's your favorite yeah. turnover? Blueberry? Ooh. Oh, that's a, that a, that a good question. I always ask a food question during a game. That is all, especially I on, think, well, especially I, on Thanksgiving. I think my strawberry so. turnover is my favorite, so we don't want any turnovers. Nope, no turnovers. If you're a Needham fan, Wellesley would love to be eating a turnover. Well, we always say the turkey tastes better for the, on the side of the After the winner, win, yeah, After yeah. the wins. Right now, again, coming down the wire here. 28, 28, we got a Wellesley love here. Uh, He's agreeing with you. Agreeing with us. Uh, as we have a handoff at that time, Wellesley definitely Stops not letting, I believe that was Geller on the carry. Now, now I might drop Constantine straight back and keep two backs in the block for him. See if he can find Hannigan or uh, one of his other is receivers. Hannigan, is Hannigan Ross. back in the ball game? I don't know, is he? Let's see. No. Uh, yeah, if I, yeah, if I yeah, see him going to the top is. of the screen. We have Hannigan to the far side and Ross on this near side. They're two big guns. By the way, there's no gain on that first down run, so second down and 10 they're going to call it. So let's see. I think we have a couple fans watching on our, our replay monitor here. He's got. Oh, he's got a man open. Oh, oh just, just overthrown. overthrown. Intended there for Ross. And Ross had the separation there if he could have come down. With that, well, though it did look like Carlos Duran you know, was able to get back just at the last minute. And we've seen Castino overthrow a couple people, and I think in the early in the game he was pumped up, but he's probably pumped up now, you know, with 351 left. 351 he's, he's to go. He's got the adrenaline yeah. going a little now. He's just a little third too much down, on that. So. Third down and 10. Raider faithful making a lot of noise. Of course, we're right here among them, so definitely here in the crowd. As they come to their feet here, third and 10. Cassatine out of the gun, single back, three receivers. Man comes in motion. Cassatine barking signals, takes the direct stop. He's back to throw, and he's going to complete it there to Ogletree, but Ogletree looks 
to be taken short, down short, short of the first down. They're not even close. So now another decision time for David. They're gonna, they're not they're gonna, gonna hesitate. They're it, gonna send all the fun. punt team it's here. It's so interesting because it looked like Ogletree was further down the field, but he only gained like four yards. Oh, we have an injured rocket down on the That's play. That's Ogletree, I think. That's Ogletree. Is he slow to get up? He, he's had, a, he's had some injuries, I think, this year. As Ogletree will be tended to, and definitely hate to see any injuries of any kind. I mean, we have a, had, a, had a couple guys banged up uh, so far in this one. And let's see. Yeah, it looked like Ogletree was trying to come off under his own power, but just could not quite do so as they are they're bringing out the gear. I think though, though for the He's Rarity, standing up though. Ogle, so. Yeah, Ogletree is able to rise and uh, walk off under his own power out to a nice ovation by the uh, by the Wellesley faithful. But he'll be missed. He's he's a he's a good player, you know. They'll be absolutely. missed. You know, he no, gives absolutely. You, he he's gives you options, you know. Definitely. So it'll be Castine back now to do the punting as it'll be uh Wellesley should Poirier get pretty good field position, you know. Deep here to receive on the punt. They as should get pretty good field position. One would think is it's a line drive kick. kick Gerard does come up with about the 30. He breaks forward out across the 40. It is taken down there about the 42-yard line. So that's where Wellesley will take over, folks. 3-14 left to go here in regulation. And this is... Probably the drive of the game here for Wellesley, yeah. looking to try. You couldn't ask for more of either team if you're a fan, you know? I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I will say this, and obviously, you know, we all have our, our allegiances here, but you like to see, I don't know, I feel like I like to see a close game rather than a blowout. blowout. Definitely more entertaining, and in this case, definitely very entertaining. It'll be, it'll be three, uh, first down, 10, I should say, at the 41. The only thing oh, I Wellesley. say about that, Robbie, is in close games, you think, like, if I had done one more thing, if I didn't throw the, and you kick True. yourself. Good point. When, when you Good get point. beat soundly, you can say they were just a better team. So I have this argument with people a lot, and sometimes I feel like it's better just beat soundly. Because you think, like, if I didn't throw the pick six, if I didn't do this, you know. Yeah. But, but it's much more entertaining for fans. On first it's down. much more entertaining for fans. Oh, yeah. The fans who have come out this morning. And that, not, nobody's left. Worth. No. We're going to have a lot no. of late turkey dinners. Yeah. I see a lot of Needham fans that I walk by at halftime, and they're all still here. By, by the way, that Wellesley police officer basically acting like a fan, the number one, the number one fan. I think he was one, the powder pop coach, so he's, he wants to get one win at least after Needham won They yesterday. say no gain on the play. Second down to Ted. Wellesley's offense after taking the 28-21 lead has definitely uh, got a bit stagnant here. There's a nice In the second half, there's a nice pitch and catch. Poirier almost broke free as he was out close to midfield. But yeah, good pitch and catch so, there between Ferrara So I'm and thinking Poirier. this is four down territory as the clock ticks down though, Robbie. It was a pick of about five. Even so at a tie game, five. Needham, Needham would have to drive from the 50 practically. So uh, I think there's only like two minutes left. Unless so. there's a big sack like Needham has done. Coach, yeah, trying, to, coach trying to signal in the play as they look confused over there. He's given like the X. I don't know whether he wants a crossing route or something. We'll have to see what Single they do back far in the wide. backfield, four receivers for Ferrara. Looks like Needham wants to bring pressure, filling in the gap. Oh, they definitely they want to bring back. Ferrara back to throw. And yeah, definitely. See, looked like he was there was definitely to get confusion. There. there was definitely confusion. That player did not know where he was going. Yeah, and Ferrara got rid of that ball quickly, but the receiver was not, Luger did not write Wow, the and they're going to the punt. Yep, they're going to punt and rely on their and defense to try the very least to get to overtime here. Please, please, I can't watch it. Just tell me Marcus Fuentes catches. I'm gonna watch the field behind us. It's nice and quiet, you know. <laughs> he signals for a catch every time. Move up, Marcus, move up. Get back I gotta yell louder to him. <laughs> As Webb gets off See, a pretty decent kick, serve an angled punt yeah, and will sort of come to rest here inside the, the 20, about the 15 yard line. So. 145 to go, and Needham is going to have to go 85 yards so what here if I they want to win it right now. Oh, By the way, I, both I, teams I, have all three of their timeouts I, remaining I, I'm here. I'm smelling the it, half. though, Robbie. That's what we say at our house. I'm smelling it. 
overtime. I'm smelling it. It's looking very possible. Give it a shout out to the facilities management team. Absolutely. Pick up the trash after we leave. No, they already they, stole they... our donuts from them. As I, say, I can't believe you let them do that. <laughs> yeah. It's Mark's fault. <laughs> so first down and 10 back at the 15 yard line of Needham. So let's I mean, I think I got to guess they're going to run the ball. I think they're I don't just going to. I mean, you might as well just go for 85 oh, yards. Oh, there we go. The Here oh, we go. They're going to go. Rufo. Out of the uh, Wildcat here, Castantine comes in motion, or it comes out wide. Rufo is going to run it in. It's going to pick it almost, up yeah, about it almost four like yards. Had about a little gap. Close to the 20 yard line. Stays at bounds, so clock will continue to run here. Yeah, see, they're, Need em. they're playing for the uh, OT. Looks, yeah, it looks like they're, although they do hustle up to the line, not yeah, huddling here. So I, I still love, like, I love, play. like, Rufo to go in that, and then, like, Castantine to come around. You know, maybe lateral back to Rufo go out for a pass. So let's see here. Second down, seven. You know, a little trick, trickeration. They're going to call it. There's been no trickeration. Back to throw. He's going to roll. He's got time. And incomplete. The pressure didn't let him get away. A good pass. That was uh, Ross again, the intended receiver, try to get to make a diving. So if, if he fails on this and has to pump, Wellesley might take a timeout to get the ball back, right? Yeah, I mean, especially if the, if, you know, the, play is tackled in balance, you would not be surprised to see Wellesley use a timeout, try to give himself some time here. Again, 108 left to go in regulation. So let's see, third down and seven. Castatina to get out of the gun. He's got three receivers split out wide. Raider faithful making a lot of noise right now. It looks timeout like Needham is, is gonna take a timeout here. <coughs> Talk things over, Excuse looks like a little discombobulation. Yeah, you want to make sure you don't make any mistakes here. It did look like Castantine wasn't sure what was going on. And we saw that when Wellesley just had the ball previously on that third down, their wide receiver kept looking over to the bench like, what am I doing? And the pass ended up being incomplete because there was obviously miscommunication between the quarterback and the wide receiver. Yeah, at this juncture of the game, you want to make sure you everybody is on the same page on both sides of the ball. Uh, could I <coughs> make, could I afford any mistakes at this juncture here, so. Losing, <laughs> my, losing my voice here. Well, I hope we don't go too many overtimes if we, if we get there. And I hope they do it at this end of the field. There have been nine ties in this rivalry, but I don't think we're gonna have a tie here. No, no ties, right? I don't like the new college rule where you go for two points after the yeah, first two. That's so weird. Yeah, I'm not a, I like, not a big fan I, of that. Uh, high school, they start the 10 yard line each team and you see what happens. So here we go. Third down and seven out of the timeout. Cassidy out of the gun. He's got four receivers single back. Cassidy well, back is they coming with the pressure? Take it the pressure. Hand it gets there, but I, is he short? The clock keeps rolling. It is complete to hand it get on that far he's side. He's short. I know, he's short. See the wrap on the far side where he's standing? He's marked the ball across the field. They and he's stopped short. the clock. I think Wellesley may have taken a time out there. We'll think, see. We'll check the spy. No, no, they're no. no the they are going to write. It's, yeah, it is a four down. He's I think the head wrap short. wanted to just look at the mark. And Wellesley's going to take a time out here. Why, why don't, why don't you? Why don't you measure any of these thoughts? I don't understand because that fourth down mark is not that far away, and it's on the total opposite side of the field. Well, if you need him, I mean, do you try to go for it here on this fourth and one? I mean, I know you're. <coughs> At your own, what, I, I don't see five yard line, uh, but I don't know I if don't you want to give you Wellesley. You got a good kicker, right? At Eddie Webb, yeah, Eddie Webb, very strong. Like What's he seen. good from like 30 in, you think? I would probably say 20, you know, 25, you know, 25, maybe. So 25, the ball's on the 25 and seven is 32, so it'd be 42 yards. So they make 10 yards, he's kicking a 32 yard field goal. Yeah, to try to win so, the game. Yeah, so, so I don't know that you want to do that if you're a Rockets fan. We shall, yeah, I mean, I would. I would not be surprised if Needham elected the punt here, but we've seen weirder things in this rivalry, so what are they going to do? They are bringing the offense back out onto the field, folks. They're going to go for it. So this Fourth down and less may, than Maybe one. try and draw them off slide, Robbie. Maybe not actually maybe hike it. kick, something. I don't know. Yeah. Or are they actually going to catch the team out of the gun? No, excuse me. Now he's going to go under center. He's just, and he's he's just the sneak. Draw, sneak, and I don't know. Where is it? 
I don't know if he I got don't know. there. I don't folks. think he did. I don't think he got there. I don't know where the official is coming in. It is very close, folks. I don't Let's think he see got it. The Raider bench, you know, pointing out of it late that he did not get it, although the Rocky bench was pointing out of it late that he did get it. And yep. they're going to bring in the next They're going to bring this one. in the chain gang. <laughs> Boy. I hope we have someone. Is Derek down there? Derek, yep. run out in the field, Derek. Get in the huddle. <laughs> Derek is down there with a handheld camera, so I think we should get a good view. Oh, my lord. To talk about a game of inches, Robbie, huh? I mean, this is literally going to be by inches here. It's either going to be a first out for Neib or Wellesley is going to get the ball in tremendous field position here. <laughs> Let's see. Gutsy call by Coach Cobsco. Uh, yeah. Gutsy, gutsy call. It is first, first down. down Needham. I think it's a half a football. Wow. From my view up here, it looked like half yeah, a football that, first I mean, down. If it was a first so that's payback for the one we didn't get. <laughs> so Needham able to move the chains here. Oh, and the Raider faithful mate letting their displeasure be Bell, keep it classy, guys. And what are they saying, cow manure? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, so again, yeah, 47 seconds left A to go. A long way to go for the Rockets still, though. You know? uh, yeah, the ball's at about 75 the, what, yards. 30-yard line, yeah. yeah. Clock is running, 40 seconds back left. And Kessie back to, back to throw, he completes it, but staying in bounds there at about the 30-yard line. Vasquez. That was Vasquez, 30 seconds left. It they're does not, really look like they're, they're not playing for the time. Yeah, they're not calling a timeout or stopping the clock as the clock continues to run. Again, 30 seconds left, now down to 20. Kessie definitely taking his time here. You're probably only two plays left. Kessie back to throw. Taking the pressure now, he's got to step up in the pocket. He's got to get rid of it. Get breaks no, off a tackle. No, get out of bounds. And is able to get out of bounds at about the five seconds. So forty yard line. You need a hail mary and our father and a uh, yeah, more than that to get this done. Yep. That's basically all you can hope for here. Either maybe a uh, well, a bunch of laterals. So uh, need him takes time out. I almost if you need him take out. a knee. Take a knee, go to overtime. But what fun would that be, Bill? I mean, you need some, you need some yeah, but last play you drama. Can, you you got to get there, this. right? You got to get. Uh, but if you're Wellesley uh, defensively, who, I feel like uh, you got to play your DBs your know, way down. Maybe yeah, yeah, the yeah. 20, 10-yard line. You Woody gotta, Hayes always said, though, two things can happen when you pass, right? Incomplete or an interception, you know? So I mean, I, I mean try and run. Not, just, not, not to bring this up, but remember the. You know, we were talking about the Patriots earlier. Remember the Miami Miracle from a few yeah, years yeah, ago? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Know. Gronk couldn't do anything. Remember him? <laughs> I mean, why deeper? you had Rob Gronkowski as the as your low Deep as guy, your yeah. last uh, line of defense? Line yeah. of defense on that play. I'll never get it, even you know, years later. But here we go. Yeah, folks, five seconds to go in well, regulation. I mean, I guess, but maybe if you have a trick play too, you want to save it for the OT. You know. Five seconds to go. Big snap for your Raider defense. Let's oh go. boy, here I. Yeah, look Here at everyone's go. back, just as you said. First and 10. 28 all score. <sighs> maybe you, you throw a ball in between the zones and you do a lateral, but. Yeah, I mean, maybe. Let's see what Neiman likes to do here. Again, five seconds left here, folks, in this one. And. Is Nina, yep, they're bringing Cassatine out, out of the shotgun. Four receivers, by the Wellesley with their DBs all back at about the 25 yard line here. Cassatine out of the gun. He's back to throw, he's rolling, he's gonna air it out. It is complete and tackled very quickly there and time will expire. So folks, in this 134th installment of the oldest public high school football rivalry in the country, we are going to overtime. Kind of appropriate, I would think, huh? 28 unbelievable, folks. We've had a tremendous game here so far, and it is going to be extended by at least one overtime series. All right. So uh, let's see. So I believe you to can, reset you can the rules. carry us for a second, Robbie, so I can stretch my <laughs> legs. <laughs> I believe to the overtime rules, if they are like they've been in the past years, there'll be four downs. For the uh, for each team from the 10-yard line, as Bill Derby going for a little 
uh, walk here <laughs> during the break in between the fourth and overtime. But like I was saying, it'll be four downs from the 10 yard line here. Uh, I believe, again, that, that was the rules the last time around at least. So I don't know if they've changed them. We shall see, but the captain's meeting at midfield and usually the usually the common wisdom is if you win the toss, you go on defense first so you know how many points you need. So let's see what happens here though. We're trying to see what's going on during the coin toss. The Raider captains and Coach Jesse Davis out there as well as the need of captains and Coach Doug, Doug Kopsko. So let's, I think they're going over the OT rules right now and then they will be doing the coin toss. Again, coin toss for overtime period, always big. Oh, there's the coin toss and Wellesley won the toss to begin things, so. So we'll see, uh, the teams are gonna flip off here because I believe Wellesley will be playing defense first. Yep, need, yep, it will be Needham ball first and 10 to begin things here in overtime. So let's see what this Raider defense can do. Let's see what the Needham offense can do. Let's see when Bill Dermody actually comes back. Um, I may actually be going solo here for this overtime period, but regardless, they will march the ball down. Uh, the good news is for us, it's going to be down on our side of the field. So we will get a clear vantage point here. As again, like I said, Wellesley will start on defense here again. <laughs> It'll be first out of goal from the 10. We shall see. Love the fact that Bill picked this time to go and use the uh, the portal that, that is set up here down on the other side of the field, or down on you know down to my left here. But regardless, here we go, folks. Overtime from Wellesley High School. First down and goal from the ten. Let's see. We got Cassie under center. He takes the direct step, hand off to Rufo, and Rufo stood up in the backfield for a loss. Wellesley doing a great job there of that defensive uh, penetration there, was able to stack up Rufo for a loss of about three on the play, so it'll be second down a goal from the 13. If you're thinking field goal here for Dean, Cassatine is the kicker as well. He is perfect on the PATs, but we'll see what that would translate to on a field goal attempt. So second down a goal at the 13. Cast and teed out of the guy, or excuse me, under center, I should say. I backfield, single receiver split up to the top of your screen. Cast and teed back to throw. Take it to pressure. And he's gonna have to get rid of it. And just throws it out of bounds. There, he was taking some serious pressure there and was just able to get rid of it out of bounds. Raider bench wanting maybe a touch little grounding there, but no such luck. But regardless, it's going to be third down and goal at the 13 yard line here. So let's see. As Bill Derby making his way for the most important play of the drive, we do have Bill Derby making his way back up here. So again, third who won the, down who goal won the, the toss? 13. Wellesley won the toss and elected to play defense that's first. That's smart, so. that's smart. So here we go, third down and goal at the 13. Cassidy out of the gun. Single backfield. Three receivers, two to the near side. Cassidy back to throw, taking pressure. He's gonna throw, it's gonna be complete, but knocked out of bounds at about the five yard line. So do you kick that the field goal and he go? Kick the field goal and he go? Well, it's gonna be fourth down, so decision time here for the Rockets. Do you take the three or do you risk it and go for it? Let's see what the Rockets elect to do here. 
But that Raider defense there on those first two plays really putting Needham into that situation. Needham is going to take a timeout. With well, the, uh, you know, Needham has done well on the long pass plays, but when you get down in goal line situations like this, you only have that 20 yards to work with. So it's much harder on the offense because it's not as much open space, you know, Robbie? Absolutely. So it's going to be fourth down goal at the four. They're going to. They're talking it over right now. Yeah. I got a nice tweet from my family. Cheers to the cooking staff as they're all drinking <laughs> mimosas. I hope they save you one. They save some for the eaters. Jeez, my daughter said the flashback from three years ago at the Michigan-Ohio State game on the 25th. <laughs> that is right. Yeah. Well, and by the way, Bill, a big Michigan-Ohio State game. Well, no, but we got to go to the BC weekend. Wake Forest. Come on, right? I mean, I might. We'll see. Bring a TV to the stadium, <laughs> an alumni stadium. The little handheld radio, yeah. some, I don't know, something. Find some way. Live stream, you know. All right, here we it go. Looks like Hannigan's going on wide here, so it looks like. Yep, they're going to go for fourth and goal for the four. This is where. This, this is huge. This is a huge play right here. They're either going to get six, or Wellesley is going to have a, or Jeff. Wellesley is going to have a chance to win with just a field goal here. Put roof for one. Put roof for one. The. Two receivers, two backs. has Kassetine a little time, Kassetine now he's rolling out. Someone's he's helmet rolling. came off, Someone throws it back across. Oh, Hannigan. Hannigan! There's a flag though, there's a we flag though. We have a flag. Whose we helmet got ripped Hold off? Hold on a second, we have a flag on the play. I don't know whose helmet got ripped off, it's a Wellesley player. So I don't know who it's gonna Please be. It might be me. against Needham because it might be a personal foul against Needham. No, Needham is pointing like it's yeah, against Wellesley. Let's see though. What is the call? Yeah, but the, everyone's pointing both ways, you know. <laughs> well, and Rufo's talking to a Wellesley guy like, I think it's you. No, I think it's you, you Interesting know? point here is that in the current NFHS rules, it would not be an automatic first down. It would be half a distance, but it still be fourth, fourth down, down if yeah. it's against Wellesley. So I don't, I don't understand see, are, are, what you're talking they, about. Are, it's either penalty a or penalty. Discussion. I mean, this is the biggest call of the game right here because either Neves going to get another uh, crack at it. Well, I or mean, Constantine's going back out like he's it's against Wellesley, but Hannigan. the, the Wellesley player, you could see during the play a helmet came off and it was the Wellesley player, so you, it would lead me to think it's against Needham. Is it offsetting? If it's I think, offsetting? I think, gonna call, I think they are going to call a penalty here, although. They're going to talk to the Wellesley coach. I don't know. Well, We'll see how the Wellesley coach reacts. <laughs> we are waited with bated breath here, folks, for this call. It, so I think it would be half the distance, which put you at the two, right. maybe. And then can you run it if you need him? You know, instead of passing. Coach Jesse Davis having an animated conversation. He doesn't look like he's that fired up, though. He's just trying to understand. You know, you see some coaches get fired up. He's just trying to understand. And the assistant coach out there as well. Now they're going back to talk some Hold more. On. They're, yeah, now they're now they're going to come, now they're going to come over here and talk again. So whatever Coach Davis was saying, the officials are going to talk about it. And why? The, why you can't? Because, why do you yeah, let I mean, the Jesse Davis cops go? Should over. be right out there. If he's in there, cops go. Should be right out there too. You can you can't have the Wellesley coach out on the field talking to him. Hey, the, the official, I think the other official went over and sort of pushed Jesse Davis back while well, they. Talk about so this it's look. obviously yeah, the the the, the, call. the call that was gonna come is against Wellesley, right. obviously, but absolutely we just don't know what it is. Could it be if there's something if there's some rule against playing without your helmet because the Wellesley guy maybe did maybe it, it is like did yeah his, maybe did, yeah did lose his helmet as soon as you lose your helmet. <laughs> what is the, I I don't understand now they're talking to both coaches. They're going to go over to Coach Kopsko. I, if I'm Coach Kopsko, I would go I ape am. if that call was the flags picked up. But they still it looks like Wellesley they, defense is staying out there. They still haven't given, given the fans any anything. Here as to what the call I'm is. I'm wondering, is it offsetting penalties and then you replay Ooh. the down? All right, let's right? see. Now, now the official, I think, is He's probably going to kind of tell us. Hello. Yeah, it'd be nice to let us know as fans. 
We have unsportsmanlike conduct against uh, both, both teams. teams. Okay, so, Offset, so, so you replay. replay fourth down. All right. All right. Let's see what happens here. Hannigan was tiptoeing along the back of the end zone and open, but he, but he dropped the ball. He, he dropped the it, ball, yeah. but I'm saying he was open along All the right, back. All right, Matt under center here. Forget fourth and goal for the four. Let's see, did they, did they go for Rufo here? Cassidy's going to roll. He's going to pass. Oh, what a play. Incomplete Wells. What a take play. Over. What a great play by. What a defense. I think play. that was number one, right? Carlos Gerard. Yep, Carlos Gerard on the coverage. Breaks it up there. And well, Wellesley will take over for this. So now, Bill, the all kick. the Raiders need is a field goal. I know, well, that's what I'm one. saying. I'd send my, I'd run it twice, and if I don't get it, kick it almost on third down. Because if something happens, then you're fourth down to get it too. What a heartbreaker if Needham loses, Whoa, huh? Woo. Either team loses, it's going to be a heartbreaker. Oh, this one, this is been, gonna. This one of the better Thanksgiving games, at least in the last like decade or so. Obviously, we're talking about the 2010 Thanksgiving. The 2010 I mean, if you're Wellesley, would you even dare that. throw it? I mean, I just hand you it off. You have a decent run game with Person yeah, or Parker. I hand it off to Person. By the I way, just Ferrara hand it off is to going person. under center for the first time this afternoon. They're doing a sort of a bunch backfield, no receivers. Although now gear does go in motion. Yeah, just hand, hand it off to here person. person. He breaks the head. Down goes the goal line. He's in! Touchdown, Raiders! Lewis Person wins it in overtime for the Raiders as they storm the field. The Wellesley Raiders in overtime have defeated the Needham Rockets, 34-28. And it's 125th, 234th. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm losing, my, losing my train of thought, losing my voice, everything. 134th installment, it ends up 34-28 overtime. What a play there, Lewis Person. Breaking head, just able to get over the goal line for the game winning touchdown, Bill. And you can't need them. Kids over there, of course, hanging their heads. But you can't, you can't hang your head if you're a Needham kid. You gotta give them, you gave it your all, you gave a great shot. If I told you you were going to overtime 28-28 oh, yesterday I, to you if you're a Needham player, you would say, I would take that in a heartbeat, right? Yeah, Needham, nothing to hang their heads about. Nothing Tremendous to hang their heads. Game way, way, way teams. it should be, you know? High school Ab sports is meant absolutely. to be good games like this, you know? And a tremendous crew. We want to give a quick shout out to them. Director Kristen Connors on cameras, Rebecca Karen, and James Joyce, and Derek Risner. Floor Director Jessica Burks, uh, Mike Levin, Assistant Director, Technical Director Mark Mandel. So, folks, that is going to do it. You know, before we leave, oh, yeah, Bobby, let's give a shout out to the seniors. I'll yeah. get I'll get the Needham seniors, you get the Wellesley. Yep. I'll start. Since you're go the winners, ahead. you can go, go last, ahead. all right? So just a congratulations to all the seniors on the team because we want to wish them the best of luck no matter what they do next year. A lot of the kids are not going to play football. They're going to just go and have a great career in whatever, you know, they have a career in. So best of luck to them. And let's just take a minute yeah. to recognize them. So first, uh, for the Needham Rockets, number one, Edgar Vasquez. Number five, Jay Castadine. Number six, Tyler Harris. Number eight, James Morris. Number 10, Matthew Kurdzill. Number 11, Matthew Ferrara. Number 13, Billy Mahoney. Number 14, Griffin Caldwell. Number 16, Captain Ryan Hannigan. Number 19, Captain Will Harris. Number 24, Tamir Honoko Michili. Sorry, I bit butchered that one, Tamir. Number 31, Stephen Lombardo. Number 37, Chris Northrop. Number 38, Brendan Morley. Number 41, Tate O'Mara. Number 55, Hanson Miller, Sr. Number 58, Michael Garrity, Sr. Number 64, Toby Small, Sr. Number 68, Tucker Burns, Sr. Number 69, Pat Morrison, Sr. Number 71, Nick Dugan, Captain and Sr. Number 74, Aiden O'Brien, Sr. Number 7, Peter Papakariko, Sr. Number 78, Arak Arakidi Fusiak. Sorry about that one, too. 84, Brady Ross. Number 88, John Ogletree. Number 93, Ben Kwan. And number 95, Dimitri Davos. Congratulations to all the Needham seniors. Now, Absolutely. Robbie, the Wellesley yeah. seniors. Carlos Duran, Jack Poirier, Sam Gear, Liam Jadot, Lewis Person, 
Tom Seifer and Brian Penny. A big congratulations to them. So again, folks, we are going to wrap it up here for this 134th installment of Wellesley University. And for all of our crew and for Bill Dermody, I am Robbie Johnson telling you off here once again the final score, Wellesley 34, Needham 28 in overtime. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. We will see you next year.